Yes. <laughs> hey, oh, and well great. met. Good evening, one and all. That's not my line. I cannot steal that one. Hello, everyone. My name is Peter. It is my honor to welcome you to episode three of The Strife of the Chosen. Our regularly programmed Trapped by Hope is on a temporary hiatus as MEDM is away performing in the real life for the next couple weeks. But in the meantime, we are pleased to bring you a quartet, a quio, a not trio, but a four... Um, a, a fortet of episodes of Avernus themed adventures that we will be playing uh, tonight and then the next week as well. We will bring it to completion. So, um, well, here with me for this hellishly good time, we have uh, Jade as Calumus, the warlock, oh. alias Prime. Can you? Carolus. Carolus. Carolus, the warlock. Alias Prime is playing Marrow the Rogue. Lindsay Rousseau as Helmara the fighter, Samus as Juniper, Barbarian. And Druid. You're right. You're right. I'm getting there. I almost got it. And Li- <laughs> Samus as Juniper the Druid, and Liz as Vosaleth the cleric. North. Um. Are you guys ready? <laughs> for are you guys ready to continue this? Avengers that was a good pivot. Assembled. A good pivot, Peter. It was. It worked. My- it worked. Uh, you know, my my pivots are the best. I've been I've been uh, I'm known for them. It's so, not like we're going to go crashing down into hell or. Oh, that is. Oh, where we're at. no, wah, we're already wah. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Indeed. And speaking of, for those of you who have are just joining us previously on Strife of the Chosen, our newly met adventurers at the behest of a child named Dara, ventured into the wastes of Avernus to seek the heart of an angel trapped deep within a hell wasp hive. On their way there, they encountered a band of mercenaries who were beset upon by these very hell wasps and were able to secure their escape. In return, the mage from that group offered them some supplies, some healing materials, and a clue as to which hell wasp hive might be their target. Making it all the way to this hive, they found it a massive structure floating like an infernal chunk of paper mache above these hellish wastes, tethered to the hellscape by giant chains of infernal iron. Few of the group climbed up, a few flew up, and one almost fell into hot lava, thanks to the strength and incredibly long arms of Helmara. Juniper did Bug not. Bears for fact, the win! <laughs> Juniper did not, in fact, burn up in the lava. But what they found inside the hive was no less disturbing. Um, bodies some decomposed, some in the process, and some indeed used as vessels for the incubation of the hell wasp larva. The group found their way into a secret chamber and found a deranged dwarf whose mind seemed to have been addled by the horrors within, claimed that the larva were his brothers and sisters, that his mother was the queen high above in the hive. They were able to learn that that is indeed where the heart of the angel that they are seeking is, the higher parts of the hive where the queen dwells. But the actions of the party put him into a bit of self-defense mode as he uh, began to attack them with fierce spells and was soon joined by a number of other hell wasps. After a intense battle, very intense battle, the group triumphed and having spent quite a lot of their energy, hit points and life force, decided to retreat into a genie's bottle provided by Karyolus. And nearly there. Just, can you just say it? I don't know. I'm, I'm wanting to put a yacht in there. Who Is are it you? Carolus? Carolus? Carolus, yes. 
Carolus. I like don't know careless, why that's strange for me. I pronounce chow. Carolus. It's pronounced chow. <laughs> it's pronounced chow. <laughs> Good. Uh, inside Ooh. joke there. Anyway, you all now rest within a very comfortable tent like structure, uh, protected from the elements by Carolus's genie's bottle. I was just gonna ask, Carolus, what is this? Uh, what does this tent look like? What's your bottle like? What's my bottle like? Well, it's the latest model, Samus. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do tell. What amenities does it come with? Well, when you're inside, it actually looks like you're inside a genie's bottle, like a huge genie's bottle, um, and it's just like surrounded with like very comfy velvet cushions, drapes, or curtains, whatever. And uh, low tables and a chest. Yeah, very, very comforting. So Juniper is um, going to look at. Is it Helmara or Halmera? Uh, uh, I pronounce it Helmara. Helmara. Okay. So Juniper is going to wave you over. But Juniper might do whatever Juniper wants to do. <laughs> well, yes, she's already given you a nickname. Um, That's true. <laughs> so she waves you over and uh, uh, and she's like, so as much as I'd like to style your fur right now, we're both like totally covered in hell wasp guts, which uh, grody to the max, but may I please? And she reaches into her robes and she pulls out uh, a makeup palette and she presents it to you. Oh my God, yes, girl, please make me up. Oh, going to be so pretty. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm thinking we need to do a smoky eye, but with your dark complexion, I think we need a light gray pigmentation with pomegranate accents. How do we feel about this? I don't know any of the words you just said, so whatever is good for you is fine for me. Uh, Amazing. Both from the pod. <laughs> <laughs> I want the last thing that the Hell Wasp Queen thinks to be, oh my God, I'm dying, but holy crap, her eyes are stunning. And so right? She... <laughs> so she's going to blink at them. <laughs> yes, that's a glamour right there. I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, so she starts, uh, she sits you down and she's starting to work on your eyes. And she says, so like, can I get super personal with you right now? Hit me, girl. Okay, well. Let me preface this by saying that I have tamed a displacer beast back home. Her name is Fluffy. I miss her. I miss her. I miss her. So like, I don't really subscribe to judging people based on the history of their race, but you are like fully radiating warmth and you're definitely not the Pac-Man of the pie chart when it comes to bugbears. What is that like for you? You know, I won't lie. Not many people like me. They're very, they're very, very, very afraid of me and they like run away screaming and I'm just like, no, I just want to have a conversation and buy some of your wares. And they're like, oh, you're going to kill me. It's very discouraging, you know? Like I'm just surrounded by hate all the time. I don't like it. So <sighs> I appreciate your warmth. I feel the warmth coming off of you as well. That like totally breaks my heart, but I think we're like soul bonding here. You know, this is a very, very weird combination, but I'll take it. <laughs> so as she finishes, um, she pulls out uh, a piece of metal from her robes and she pours water from the decanter uh, and she freezes it uh, and she holds it up to you so you can see her work. What do you think? And you like, you see her eyes start to like mist up a little bit. And then she's just like, <clears throat> This is, uh, is good. It's is, uh, is not bad. It's not bad. You have gorgeous eyes and you cannot cry because these are all natural ingredients and it will totally <laughs> run, but they're all hyperallergenic. Fierce. You're fierce. Not test, no testing on animals, right? None Are whatsoever. Vegan? Super yeah, vegan. <laughs> and then she looks over at, uh, she looks over at Marrow and she's like, you're next. Uh, I'm, I, all, all of my weapons are cage free. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I only eat raw, locally grown creatures. I eat nothing from factory farms. 
She's, uh, Juniper looks very proud of her work, and she just <laughs> she sits she sits next to you and starts washing off the blood uh, from the many wounds she uh, incurred in that last battle. Are we uh, are we short rested or are we long rested? Short. Okay, thank you right? for that. Y- yeah. Uh, ten, ten minutes has passed. Let's go. <laughs> oh, is it over already? Oh, jeez, I'm so not even ready. All right, let me get mentally prepared. In here, we only have to do ten minutes for short rest. Okay, well, that's a fast makeup job. Nonetheless, you guys can s- stay. And if, uh, you know, if there's anything anyone else wants to discuss, um, this is the time. <laughs> I, I, I do have may, a question, uh, everyone. Meet the absolute strangers that you've kind of been uh, thrown into a hellish situation with. I, I, I have a question for everyone. Um, so there was this um, strange beggar. Um, and he kind of drafted me into this. You guys keep throwing around these names. I get the feeling you guys are all kind of um, <laughs> holy, um, except for you, darling. You're vicious at, at uh, Helmara. Um, are, are you all like clergy? Should I should I be donating to you or something? You like donating your time to like kill bad things. That's pretty holy. I'm doing this for free, so no. This is like a higher calling or whatever. I take donations. Well, usually when I go on things for higher callings, it's usually platinum um, instead of gold. I love platinum. Um, yes, I mean, I was told there would be some sort of monetary compensation, but I also kind of feel compelled to be here. It's very weird. I, I, I sympathize. Um, this the little girl, she's, she keeps saying, you'll get your just desserts. <laughs> maybe, maybe without the cackle, but it happens in my mind. Um, I, I really, uh, um, are we really in Avernus? Like, hell. Oh, honey. Yes. Oh, honey. We've. Here. You see all the lava? That should have been your first indicator. I thought, I, you know, with with the little Missy here, Juniper, I, th- I thought rather it was just really festive party decorations. They have really great backyard parties where she's from, I hear. Oh, yeah. Super great for spring break. If you've never been, I highly recommend it. But no, we're totally in hell right now. I, I, yes, yes, I am. You know, it's just the state of mind, really. Things are only bad if you think they're bad. Like, a lot of things are just misunderstood, you know? This might be hell to someone, but you know what? These wasps, they seem pretty happy here. So it's just a matter of perspective. I imagine you're right. If, if you were a person that really liked destruction and beheadings and giant insects, you'd be you'd be having just a, a wonderful time. This is like the ball. It's, it's great, but I don't like any of those things. And... Um, can we, uh, perhaps we could conclude our business and return to our own happy houses, our mausoleums, as it were. Mero, er, Mero, uh, Juniper comes up to you and she puts her hands on your face and she's like, honey, we are totally in this together and we are going to get you home safe. And if not, we're going to be dead, so it's not going to matter. Mm-hmm. That's not comforting. I'll do my best to no. not let you die. That's See? better. Super I trust better. her. She looks sweet. Thank you. You you look you look small, but but sweet too. <laughs> Literal quite quiet. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's Mrs. Liz. <laughs> <Beeps>. <laughs> Is that better? Sorry. Should I? Did you switch mics again? Not on purpose. Not on purpose. No, it's the same mic. Okay, well, enough about me. (laughs) (laughs) I suppose about right now the short rest is ending, yeah? Yes, you can all um, take your short rest benefits. Remember, you can roll as many of those hit dice as you want in order to recoup your health losses. Which I did. So... 
Mm hmm. It's interesting in here, too. There's a softness to the air, um, a pleasantness to the scent, and the cushions, the chairs are comfortable. Um, since you've been here in Avernus on all your journeys to get to this point, nothing you have experienced could have been considered comfortable. Even the things that seemed as they should have been um, a place to take leisure or rest, you always, every time you rolled over in your sleep, some feature of the land seemed to find a place that jutted into your side. It's just been impossible to find comfort. It's been hard to catch your breath walking across the land. Thirst has been ever present. Hunger, you can never quite sate it. But here, in this place, it feels nice, a respite where you finally feel, don't feel that grainy feeling in your throat that you feel the need to clear. It's um, the air is breathable. The cushions true soft and it's like almost you don't want to leave. It's very nice. So do we go up? Oh, I can that, just what's next. We could exit any time. Um, I can't come back in here for eight hours. Yeah. Till eight hours. Okay. That's right. So, so you, you personally can? We all can't. Oh. Okay. So sorry. If this was going to be a long rest, you want to sleep through the night. We're best staying here now. I think we should just like get it done. I I I, I think um 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 with any job, once it's done, it's done. So do it. Does that mean? Well, oh. so it was factual. So are we sleeping in here or are we going now? I thought we were going. I here. think we go. I think we're yeah, ready. Yeah, I think this. we're going. Mm -hmm. okay. Adventure calls. Let's go smear some mascara. Well, that's a spirit. <laughs> Don't mess up my mascara! No, no smearing. Juniper looks really hard. <laughs> I mean, really hard. Was that, was that Kraken brand? <laughs> so, I actually made these all myself, thank you. They're beautiful. Hmm. So, so are, are you guys being ejected from the bottle, it sounds like? Yep. I, boot. So. <laughs> I think we're ready to go yeah all right yeah. so you've been in yeah. here 10 minutes about you said that was the a 10 minute long rest 10 minutes for a, a short rest yeah okay yeah. 10 minute short rest excuse me um interesting so cool uh you are then expelled you just really just pop yep. out from the just bottle everyone yeah yep. so you all find I yourselves like that in that same <laughs> Um, horrid chamber. As, we looted the uh, guy, didn't we? What did uh, I forgot to ask you? What we got from? Oh, that's books. right. Yeah, the stuff that we mm. got. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We got some good loot. You got a. There was a plus three quarter staff. There was a cloak of arachnidia, and a broom of flying. I believe. What does the cloak of arachnidia do? It's cool. Um. It makes you think that tiny spiders are crawling up your arm, but in fact, oh, it does constantly. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> None um, of that. The itsy bitsy spider. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> climbed up your sleeve. And, uh, anyway. Died. Uh, no. <laughs> so I will read. Here is the cloak of arachnidia. Um. It is a garment made of black silk interwoven with faint silvery threads. While wearing it, you gain the following benefits. You have resistance to poison damage. You have a climbing speed equal to your walking speed. You can move up, down, across vertical surfaces and upside down along ceilings while leaving your hands free. You can't be caught in webs of any sort and can move through webs as if they were difficult terrain. And you can use an action to cast web spell save DC 13 
The web created by this spell fills twice the normal area. Once used, this property of the cloak can't be used again until the next dawn. So, some nice utility. Fun. I imagined before, so I imagined that if you were wearing it, you would have to climb like Spider-Man climbs. And so when it was like, you can walk upside down on ceilings, I was like, but your hands are free, how? And then I realized you'd be walking upright. <laughs> It's like a bipedal it's like a, it's creature. Like, it's, like a, it's like a David Bowie Jareth kind of thing. You just kind of go. Right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Ah, oh, Liz, the normal way of locomotion for people. That would be how. I, uh, I like the idea of... Uh, I, I just had this terrible vision of Vosherath climbing up and then just <laughs> exorcist style swiveling her head around and being like, right? Hey guys, look! Oh my gosh. <laughs> soup coming out. You know, that, that would have been really handy and I went to this one tomb. It was a tomb of an archmage. It was named Alimus. It was a right tomb of horrors. Uh, coins everywhere. Uh, that would have been a great cloak to have in that place. It was spider infested. Hmm. Who would the uh, staff be best for? Eric? I mean... Probably. Yeah. yeah. You, can, cause you can use it one-handed if you're using a shield. Yeah. So... Let me check that out. Is it okay if I take it? If it's I already no the issues. Yeah. I don't know, what were the yeah, other my, items again? My glaive is still better than a quarter staff for, for me. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm look it up. You want the range with the glaive. It is yeah. really just a, it's a plus three quarter staff. Yeah. And so we had it, there was a quarter staff, a cloak, and what else? Um, the broom of flying. Good way to get down. I could fly. It's anyway. to clean up the webs. <laughs> Two of us can fly already, so. Yeah, I've got my boots, which I now remember that I have. <laughs> yeah. Got them. They were fresh. They were a brand new item for you, I'm sure. You just they were. I was still breaking them in. I totally forgot I had them on. You know, it was, yeah. The leather was kind of creaky. Um, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. faux leather. Thank you. Exactly. Um, was the uh, leather. Who's, who's getting, ooh, who's getting the broom? Oh, yeah. This is definitely better than my mace. Thanks, friendos. It would be good to have the broom. Someone heavy should take the broom. Or who can't fly? Uh, I can't fly. Yeah, Marrow maybe. Oh, and you'd be so cute on a broom. <laughs> Chance over. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> it just does like a little pat on the head. <laughs> oh, this is just adorable. Your grumpy face is making it even cuter. If that's you're you're not doing yourself any services right now, Meryl. Oh, friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, two, we two, two people can be on it too because it can hold a lot of weight, right? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Yeah, I can so, hold. I think it's like three hundred pounds or something. So yeah. It would oh, We can totally both ride together. I love it. It would benefit me too at some point because I can't just float. All right. Luckily, we don't need to use it now. We'll, we'll we'll deal with logistics as we. Uh, that the... does not require attunement. So can be the parties carry it right yeah yeah who's gonna who's gonna wear the cloak oh you got that. cloak as well uh well i'm wearing a cloak we're all so greedy here oh my god i know <laughs> i can i'm our i'm already resistant to all damage except psychic so yeah, yeah probably I'll someone who's maybe squishier i'm way squishy uh, you can yeah. take the cloak take the cloak yeah take the cloak yeah that sounds good it's all you I was also imagining that Helmara's, if it were actually a cloak of arachnidia, like arachnids, that her fur is already full of spiders. So. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I have to, oh, I have no. to inside dish. Um, we cannot have a cloak of black arachnidia. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm very confused. I don't know. It's okay. Okay. Are we ready it's to rock? Yes. Are we ready to go it's up? a Transformers reference. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, uh, can't help you. As as Alita one, I will have to second that. 
but I'll take it. That's all you do. Perfect. D- DM's like, it's been an hour. Are you done with inventory? <laughs> Off the rails. <laughs> no, no, good. No, 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 We're good. No, no, no. Let's fine. do it. It's, it's important. <laughs> okay, let me add the cloak of Arachnidia. And you guys are in this same area here. You can hear um, this buzzing, but... Oh, wait. I already have a cloak of displacement. It before no, I don't want a cloak of Arachnidia. What? I already have a cloak of displacement. I don't want a cloak uh, of Arachnidia. I'll keep my displacement. All right. I'll, I'll do it. I'll take it. Okay. Sorry. Right. Is it just a hand-me-down, hand-me-down, hand-me-down cloak, you know? It's yeah. just stylish enough? Passed around. Her. Yeah. I'm sure she'll make it stylish enough. That's right. You're just damn right. Anything she wears is going to be stylish. <laughs> so you still hear sort of a buzzing sound that reminds you of insect creatures from the material plane, but on a much larger scale. And instead of s- sort of that um, that insect wing buzz, there's another sound mixed into it. I described it as metallic before, and if you can imagine that with each beat of the wings, it's almost like someone sharpening their knife. You know, the sh- 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 sound, it has that sort of sense mixed into it as if their wings are made of some sort of iron-like substance, and you can occasionally hear this buzz happening way up through the top portions of the hive. You also know from your exploration that there are um, pathways up, about 40 feet up in this location here, and then this location here, just straight up into the ceiling. That is where the hell wasps that came to the aid of the warlock originated from. They popped through those holes, but right now there are just black holes in the ceiling. Interesting. What to do? Shall we ascend? I, um, I think so. Yeah. Oh, Mara, you've got your yeah, your new uh, your new broom of flying. Try it out. So darling. Okay. I'll follow behind you. Um, yeah, I'll fly with you too in case you, you fall. I will I will catch you. You're not fine. Do you, I'm not very athletically inclined. Do you mind if I um, I join you on the broom? I can uh, Yes, I I sense that this broom can hold up to four hundred pounds and we're not even half of that. So let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Quite, quite right. It's like uh, some, you know, uh, you know, motorcycle action. Hop on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Kinda, like, definitely. Yeah. Wind, it, wind in your hair. Car. Hey, totally. I'm going to start singing Meatloaf if you don't watch out, okay? Yes. <laughs> But Meatloaf from Rocky Horror. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to bust through the wall in my room of the flying. hell was pie. <laughs> out of control. Last thing I hear is a heart still beating. It works. Still beating. <laughs> I wouldn't have said it if it didn't work. I'm getting on, on my broom and going to hell. All right. Okay. I got that out of help. All right, so where are you guys? Oh, so there are oh. two paths upward. Wait, so does that make Vosharath magenta? I think so. I think so. That Don't dream good. it. Be it. it. Be it. Uh, we'll go up the... F- I'm just going to jump up the first hole, which is more in the center-ish of the map. Okay. Let's just dive right into the hive. Oh, yeah, I got to look at the holes. Yeah. And it... You go up and immediately you see it splits like a wishbone into two ways up. You can either go north, of course it does, up or south and up. What can I hear? Where is the activity coming from? Um, is that a perception mm, check? Yes, it would be. Oh, I'm definitely trying to do perception checks. And I, I got a day. twenty-three. Oh my god, you don't even need my advantage. Or mine. Okay. So you're you like, kind I of... see all. 
you kind of I stop for a moment mm-hmm. and listen. Um, I have a 23. What else? What other numbers do I have? Did anyone else roll a perception? Oh, I can I have I'm flying too. Do it. 21. Oh. Yeah, so you guys say, are that, that all together, no either walking up the sides oh, or okay, so flying. I can, yeah, let me see. Beep, 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 crack and dice. Uh, nine. We've got oh, a flying what? broom, we've got a advantage. bottle. 17. Oops. <laughs> so 23 right. is the strongest. Yeah, 23 yeah, I is very well. good. Um, in in hear... fact, Juniper is the only one that can hear while she's also speaking. It's interfering. It's interfering with the rest of our senses, but she can hear perfectly while she's talking. The How sound is louder to the southernmost split. So Even Juniper will point. Um, she'll point to the to the noise, and she'll touch her ear. Because we're moving stealthily, I figured we should try to say that. Yeah. Okay. We're trying to move stealthily. Yeah. You're yes. trying to move stealthily. Okay. I'm not. Well, since you're I trying, have, I have I mean, Vosha I was going to go with your, I was so. going to go with your stealthy, but since you threw in that you're trying, please make a stealth check. I think should it's not only have... fair if I make a stealth check because I have. I think Vosharath should get an advantage because she's flying on the broom that I'm piloting very expertly. <laughs> Dirty twenty. It's wow, three stealth rolls. Oh, beans. I can't even imagine how she's not going to be stealthy on a broom. Oh my You're... god, I rolled a nat one. But you can imagine it now. <laughs> she's gassy. <laughs> yeah. She? Oh god. <laughs> she, like, she loses her balance and she's just hanging on <laughs> to the broom. She's Whoa. she's squeaking with every turn. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Could you fly a little straighter, please? Sorry. <laughs> The so, um, bling the on your armor is just not cooperating. It is just sorry, clanking sorry, I, I haven't flown that many passengers on my broom of flying before. I guess I'm not uber talented. <laughs> oh. oh. We've got a hundred... <laughs> we've got a hundred bit donation in the, uh, in the chat which says, <gasps> Peter is the best, so don't be a pest. After losing to him, Aww. you'll need a long rest. Ch- chilling and streaming, he gives you your game meaning. Burning up dice oh rolls. No, oh no. Better than a demon. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a great that. poem. I love that. I love that. From, and dirt from such Don. a dirt bag of a person. <laughs> uh, sorry, code name Dirt Bag Don. In That's Twitch. a great Thank name. You. Thank you. That's really that's really funny. Thanks. Thank you for <laughs> for the bits. That was a lovely poem. Uh, we have to. We should have a LSRPG poetry contest. Um, we and, should uh, not. Let's go. That'd be so much okay. fun. I think we know whose vampire poems might win. Uh oh. <laughs> Can it be vampire dolphin poems? Wait. We digress. Do we make it we through do. the tunnel? Okay. I was yes. gonna say. So, how's our stealth rolls? Yes. Uh, so they're pretty good. I've got a natural one, which is, what is the total there, Vosharef? For a zero? It's a group stealth, I right? For a yeah. two! Okay, it is a group stealth check, yeah. It's, uh, I rolled a 15. Average, so we've got a one, mm-hmm. we've got a 15. Dirty got 20. 20? And a hype train coming. We've got a hype train going. Oh, we have a hype train. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got a hype train going. But is it a stealthy hype train? Once it's finished, guys, I'll do the shout outs at the end. Uh, the higher the hype train, the more money we can give away in crack and dice store credit. So if we get to a level five, for example, it's $50. So, uh, and that's all big thanks to you guys. Okay. Gotcha. I'll do so, the shout outs at the end. Um, the flying group is mostly quiet. Um, Vosharef, not so much. Um, oh no, oh no. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, and the rest of you ascend and um, based on double checking yeah you hear the buzzing of the wings but it does not seem to grow any more frantic or faster you don't hear anything to suggest there is anything alerted and you hear um, kind of do you, as you ascend and land on either side um this is where you um, come up to here. You hear a large sort of 
wet splashing sound as a what seems to be a half-eaten um, giant piece of cattle or something just falls down onto the ground, splattering there. And you can hear a sound above, and you hear just the um, soft creeping of insectoid sword-like limbs just coming on the other side of these this pile of carcasses right here so you can see that this it does open up into a larger area um and again some meat has fallen on this side here and as you look around the corner you can see that sort of walking along the floor of the other half of the hive here are two hell wasps that are starting to walk in that direction not urgently. Oh no! Oh no! But the their slow approaching coincides with the massive amount of sort of half-eaten meat that seems to have dropped in the corner of the room you're currently in. So I need to know exactly this moment what you guys do as these wasps begin to approach. I, I, I'm going to signal to everyone else that there are two wasps approaching. And they've seen us, and that's why they're. And the, yeah, we're, we're just so they're attack. looking for the beef. They have not. The there hell doesn't cow seem to be fell. any alert. So you guys okay. quietly came up here. You knew that there were some creatures on this level. Then behind you, through another hole in the ceiling, that you've seen a large piece of sort of half-eaten, um, just meat and uh, gore and such, just falls down from the upper levels, and you hear kind of a. Sound as they start to um, become alerted, and then you can hear them walking across this sort of sticky surface towards where you are right now. Doesn't sound like an attack; it's just meal time, perhaps. Okay. So, so they are coming in your direction. They are not aware of your presence yet. And are there ways oh, to get no. up from oh, here? No. Yeah. There is another uh, where the sort of stuff has dropped from right here. There is one more tunnel. Also, on this side, 40 um, feet up. So, we could do that, but there's nowhere to kind of just like get out of there. I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight, so it's like, can we just get out of their light of sight? <laughs> like, <laughs> I... <laughs> if, if we zip up to the next level, that's an can option. They avoid them entirely. Okay. They'll, um, they'll that means be, that, yeah. yeah. That means that we could potentially have wasps coming in two directions with no escape room. There is so, no daylight in hell. Um, <laughs> I mean, I could just kill them. I say we, I say we fight them. Yeah. Okay. So Let's try to get a surprise I, round. I was going to say, if I can surprise them, I get, fight, I get fight, to do extra fight. damagey stuff. Let's fight. Okay. So we just kind of assume writ large, like the party's going to fight. Yeah, we're going to get ready to surprise them when they come around. Does that sound like a good plan? Okay. Sam scared. Kills Bucks dead. Um, as we're waiting, uh, I will rage now. BT dubs. Okay. Um, can I use a turn to, well, wouldn't, I don't no. get it. Okay. The only issue with that is your rage drops if you don't attack or take damage. Oh, right? that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So is there a way where I could kind of like, can I, can I, can I, can I hold my rage? Can I hold that as like my bonus action? Like when I see them, then I rage. So then I can go in. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it will. Um, that's one of the things one of the, I just as the way I like to run combats, I like to yeah. value the initiative roles. So the okay. players who are quickest tend to react the quickest. So again, you have a very good chance of getting that rage out first, but okay. um, you know. No, that's fine. Holding out. I defer, I def I defer to the DM. In totally combat, fine. So. If you are indeed um, uh, planning to do that, so they will in keep going here and come around the corner and if you could place yourselves where you think you are, if you're just going to be right there, there is a pile of gore here that is in bones that is kind of about three feet high that maybe someone could get under or behind, maybe two creatures. Otherwise, to obscure yourselves, you think you're going to have to get behind the 
papery chitinous walls of this hive. I'm good. Okay. Like a plan. Yeah, I would like to be where I can just like whip out with my 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 glaive when I can see a, a wing pass by or whatever. Okay. This will be right like right there ish. Uh, okay, I so said be careful because if you get stuck, you'll be paralyzed. It really sucks. Yoshareth is going to hop off the broom. And I actually would kind of like to position myself a little bit further away. Could, could so. we, as soon as I see them, could I have shot them? Um, we will, as soon as you see them is where we hit initiative order. So we'll roll that in just a sec. I'm just trying to determine the positions okay. of the players, uh, when you guys, where you guys hid yourselves when you knew this was coming. So, um, again, just to refresh, this is the sort of area where they're coming from. The meat fell from a hole in the ceiling to the north here. This is where it fell down from and they're kind of, um, walking their way from here right now. One of them is 20 feet up and on the side of the wall coming, they come in uniform around the side here. And when we get here, this is where we will roll initiative. You have all your um, collective stealth check has been high enough that you will have them surprised to begin. Before we start combat though, Big thank you to Dirtbag Don for 100 bits, Alias for 700 bits, Pixie for 600 bits, and a T3 sub. We reached Yay. a... What was it? Roll that D6, DM. Who gets stuff? Oh, it was... A, what, what level did we complete? Let me, let me have a look. Two. Is it a two, is it? Uh, complete at level three. We complete wow. a, a level three hype train. Congratulations. Yeah. All of you for the awesome yeah. So support. that's a $15 gift card that we'll give away at the end on top of the $25. Exclamation mark giveaway to enter for that. Uh, it costs 10 gold, so you can get that just by following or just by being in chat watching. Uh, All right. I rolled um, my initiative when you already beat her. Yeah. Okay. What Same. is the what was the uh I got number? a Kraken plus one. Nice. nice. What's your dex modifier on that? Let's sir. Uh beans, I pushed the wrong little thing on my bar, you know, internet. internet Digital bar. game assistance provided by and what did you have Roll Helmara? twenty and beyond twenty. Helmara? I have a twenty twenty two. Wow. And All right. my dex nice. is plus one, but it's a moot point now. Uh, that hype train, Peter, as well as if you want to just do like uh, inspiration or something. Yeah, let's. Um, I'm gonna roll. Um, I'm just gonna roll five d um, five d twenty, and I'm gonna go left to right across my zoom screen, and I will tell you who gets the uh, d six inspiration. God. Uh, welcome, Fable Forty Two. Hey, welcome. Thank you very much for the raid, guys. Welcome, welcome. Welcome all. So Please I have... do join the giveaway. Exclamation mark giveaway. We're giving away two lots of store credit for Kraken Dice. Uh, $25 and a $15 one at the end of the show. You have to be here to claim it, though. It's the only catch. It's not so bad. All right. You can sit around and watch the good roll. Games Tavern. <laughs> welcome, guys. Mm. Nice to see We're you. We're about to fight some wasps, so yeah. yeah. So the first, the the highest one I got was my fourth roll, and the fourth across on my screen, not including myself, is Alias. So Mero, please have a D six inspiration. Thanks. Huzzah. To who um, else got it? Dirt pegged on. What? Who else my got goodness. it? Sorry. D six. Oh, there's two? Two D6s? Uh, Is that the, the, the level three hype train, so was, that's why I said do you just want to give everyone inspiration. Oh. <laughs> With the level three. Um I thought it was just one. Um yes! It's equivalent of about five D twenties. Yeah, you might need the re you might need it through the rest of these encounters. Especially so Especially with this uh, motley crew fighting wasp. Yeah, let's um mm -hmm. Let's, uh, let's, uh, inspiration, thanks to the 
wonderful audience. All of you yes, do indeed. have ins regular inspiration. I hope okay. we don't get poisoned. That's yes. not how inspiration works. It might, <laughs> might be how it works, but uh, okay. First up, as these two wasps come around the corner, they are both surprised. Helmara. Yay. Awesome. You so I'm going to bonus action. Well. Yes, I did. I'm going to bonus action rage and I'm going to reckless and I am going to uh, great weapon master on this first attack. So that is going to be a 19 to hit. That is just enough to hit. Great. So I am going to also get a surprise attack for this. So that's an additional 2d6 on top of my other stuff. Owie. Um, nine. Uh, that would be, I believe if I'm doing this right, 32 points of damage. Oh, very nice. And then okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in with my hold on let me just double check this real quick. Okay, and I'm gonna go in for my second attack, also uh, with Great Weapon Master, and that is gonna be uh, that's probably that's gonna be an 18 to hit, so probably does not hit, right? Just shy, correct. Okay, yeah. So then. That was that was that was that was that. And then I am going to, you know, what? I'm going to I'm going to stay put. Right where you are. OK, I if you see, let's see. I'm, I don't know if it's just a strange token thing, too, but I'm not sure. Are you to the square just north of uh, um, she, yeah, she's just on right the same me. square with Helmara, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, yeah, way over I, here. She's right here. No, she's right here. Okay. Just because um, if you do two of her back... on the turn order. Oh, I, I, yeah. You mean I should move back? Is that what you're saying? I can do that. Well, I was just saying just because we were talking about yeah. how the um, thing functioned for your great weapon master. If you wanted to use that potential opportunity attack, you would need to take a step back. Oh, um, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Yeah, then I will, I will do that. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, all right, that is your turn, and it brings Juniper is on there twice, so please remove, please remove the one. She's well, at nine sixteen. I'm not there at all, and I rolled a twenty-one. Oh dear, oh dear. Easy to fix. I thought I put it on there. All right, twenty-one. Vosh, could you roll Easy. one more time just to get yourself nope, on board? Got, oh, got nope, there you are. So, there she yeah. is. Oh, because I rolled my physical dice. That's nice. right. Yes. Yeah, that's why I, I'm doing it as well as physical dice. Yeah. Cool. Okay. The Kraken. I created no. the Kraken. No, I think we're the all Kraken. set. Cool. So, Vosharath, it's your turn. Yes. Um, so, Vosharath will stay where she is, and I will uh, cast Word of Radiance. And so she, you kind of like see her go into herself and she takes a breath and utters fossil yanach and out comes this radiant light at this friggin' guy. Oh, what's the range on that? I believe. Feet. Oh my gosh, and not word of radiance. I meant told the dead. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> But that is 60 feet. Word of Radiance is five feet. But I wanted to do right. first, but I'm too far. So. And do I need to make a save versus that? Uh, let me see. Boop, 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 boop. Um, yes, you need to succeed on a wisdom saving throw of 15. I've rolled a 12. Oh, bye. <laughs> Also, um, is that particular boss missing any hit points? Yes. Uh, if you targeted the one that Helmara just hit, uh, then yeah, it's missing it like thirty-five missing hit points. A good amount of hit points. So, uh, so I believe that's three d twelve. I think let's damage roll for this. And then yeah, baby. Hit points, 
and I'll do this on the virtual tabletop. To this is that we should do this more often then. You know, Holy I'll take the first cow. strike. You come in. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. 26 points. That is bonkers. That's a huge that is, toll of the dead. That, 20 Holy cow. Isn't it? You know what, guys? <laughs> yeah, no, Hel Helmara goes in and she she like she nails it with her with her glaive and then she steps back and like fist bumps you and she's like, you got this girl. But it is necrotic, you think, that's what he's gonna say. You can't no 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 no. It oh. takes the it takes the necrotic damage. It it takes it uh, completely. Uh and if you could hear Hell Wasp's voices, if you could understand their language, it would almost be musical as it says, I think somebody somewhere must be told a bell. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to meatloaf. <laughs> and then it- and It's then okay, it, we can count, let's counter it with Metallica. <laughs> For whom the bell toes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, just have a, we'll have a tolling <laughs> bell <laughs> off. <yeah. laughs> you guys are out of control. Oh, Meatloaf versus in... Metallica in Avernus. <laughs> yeah. The head to head uh, we've all been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's just dead then. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, actually. Um, Bye. Maybe uh, <laughs> disappointingly, Bye. this one drops. Bye. You can see that now. Um, is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Vosoreth, besides that? Um, look up to the sky. Number one. Oh, Look up to the hell wash <laughs> ceiling. And <laughs> this is for the queen. This is for you, Ilyana. I feel Ilyana on this hive tonight. Get away from her, you wasp. Wait, no. So, we killed this one. Um, the other one spends its turn being surprised, and you can then hear its wings start to beat a bit and it looks like it's about to uh its antenna are twitching as if it's about to start communicating its attack but it can't do so yet on its turn um but it looks like it is about to try to roar and communicate its um plight to the other hell wasps no marrow it is your okay. turn okay well i am antenna certainly going buzzing in front of you I am certainly going to buzz right by it on my broom of flying with a speed of 50 feet. Uh, cool. Because it can be ridden in the air and it can still attack. Moo hoo ha. Hands so free, huh? Five, yeah, the, the broom is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, you got one of those Nimbus models. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. surfing on it. Mm -hmm. I'm small. Mm -hmm. You're side saddling. I'm surfing. I'm straight. Come on. I need some surf music. Uh, as I blow by it, uh, do the combination of cool stuffs that I can do, I get sneak attack. So I'm going to make an attack roll um, using my magic sword, sword for a 23 to hit. That's a hit. And I will be doing, I will not be doing, I will not be doing the, uh, the binding ties because it makes a loud noise. But I will be doing sneak attack for 26 total magic damage. Or just six total. You guys are hitting hard tonight. And then I am going to fly past it. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Uh, that far, hoping that nothing else pops out at me out of nowhere. And I still have a bonus action, so dodge. Or can I dodge? Can I bonus action dodge? No. Uh, you can, yes. Can you? I know oh, I said yeah, I can I'll dash, disengage, disengage or hide. Dash. So right. I'll oh. disengage. disengage and hide. Yeah. yeah. I'll disengage just in case there's anything else in the room. Okay. All done. All hold on. This one's dead, which brings us yeah. to Juniper. All right. Juniper is going to pop out from her little hidey hole and she is going to cast Frostbite at the remaining wasp. Okay. I need a constitution save. And I need better rolls than that. Ugh. Eight is my result, which will... So it is a nine cold damage, and I know that it is weak against cold, so it's going to Correct, take sir. some more poop on top of it. It's not dead, is it? It's not, no. I think I'm going to 
wild shape, just in case, because I assume there's going to be more battles coming. I'm going to wild oh. shape into an air elemental with my bonus action. Ooh. Ooh. I, um... Fun! have one of those somewhere. I will get to that in a moment. Um, very cool. Air just elemental is large, right? It is a large creature, yes. Cool. And then I'll just step there. out of the way, and that's the end of my turn. Okay. Gotcha. Last, but certainly not least, Carolus. I blast it. <laughs> 30 to hit. Missed on the next second one. And 20 on the third. 20 is just enough as you know. Oh, okay. 20 damage and it flies back 20 feet. 20 right damage. In, oh, right shit. into Marrow. No, it goes in the direction that I'm facing it. Though. The opposite direction. <clears throat> Interesting. Um, this is sort of a strange air elemental, but uh, we can use that in a moment. Um, so Actually, I, I with can that... choose to blast it or not, so I leave it there. Okay. When you do that, um, honestly, guys, so the two sort of guards on this level we're about to alert, but as you both, you got a surprise round on all of them. They did not have time to communicate to their hive mates what was going on. And as they are blasted apart, you hear um, some, uh, some more sounds of scissor-like feet impacting the hive above, and maybe some more um, creatures crawling down um, the tube to the north to investigate briefly, but that is it. You just hear a louder buzzing sound coming from the north at the end of this combat. Not full flying, but just crawling along these surfaces. But you've defeated the one that has come to attack you, the, the two that were on this level. Okay. So upon hearing that one is, that uh, you, you hear a few more coming from this, um, Level, what do you do? We're going up. I'm the level above. It sounds like something is, yes, um, maybe investigating or just following the dropping meat and food <laughs> from above. Mm -hmm. The only way up you see is in this corner here is a one tubular passageway again leading up. So shall we gather around that area and get ready to... <laughs> Hit it all at once when it comes down. Yes. Yeah, I thought that too. Yeah, I like that idea. All right. Um, so it will be, excuse me. Another, it, it takes a few seconds. It's maybe 30 seconds or so. Little sounds and you can um, um, hear the sound of a um, much larger uh, creature dipping its head down. And um, so we'll get to the... Um, you can all this this will be a few rounds later so you can all reposition yourselves where you feel you would be okay. um, we're saying we're all like gonna go up around here is that what we're saying i think so okay. i think that that makes the most sense just yeah. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. to try to surprise that one as well and hit it all at once okay does that mean you are DM. trying to stealth again y yeah why not sure yeah. yeah um okay the it's the poison that paralyzes isn't it Correct. Okay. Um, knowing that Vosh is our cleric, I place a hand on her shoulder and cast freedom, freedom of movement, and it lasts for an hour. Okay. And what does that do? It means you can't be paralyzed or restrained. Oh. 
Nice. Also spend, I mean, there you go, Liz, you can read that. Nifty. Put on our cleric. Cleric can move. Yeah. Oh, that's you can so automatically. Nice. Yeah, it's good. It's good to have your cleric. Yeah. Well, thank mm -hmm. you. The last Which, line. Which, incidentally, defense. if if she was wearing the cloak of Arachnidia or someone cast web in her area, it wouldn't matter to her. Teamwork. Right. Yeah. Nice. Makes the dream work. Amen. I might you. She's, she's immune to poison. If you're wearing We're that cloak, you're immune right? to poison. Enter, Enter night. night. <laughs> <laughs> We're locked in Sorry. Neverland. I'm wearing that. Do, 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 do. Peter's in hell. I was going to say, you've got, the, you've got the cloak on, haven't you? I do. Oh, you yeah. do? Juniper does. No, oh, okay. Juniper, Juniper can has cast it. web. Okay, so that's three mm -hmm. of us that are immune to poison now. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, Juniper yeah. can't yeah. cast web right now because she's a cool, wispy, elemental thing. Nifty, thank you. Um, I will fuel. I will add that for you, uh, um, Juniper, to be able to actually control. Thought you're gonna add something for me. I don't know how to add that. I'll just have to remember it with the noggin. Lots of new followers and new first time talkers hey. in the chat. Yes, welcome hey. everyone. Welcome hello. everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Whoop, whoop. And <laughs> you now see a um, head kind of peek its way down. Oh, first I need stealth if you guys are trying to um, oh. ambush again. Awesome. Yeah. That's a 23. Ooh, nine. Sorry, guys. Back in 21. Oh, 13 for me. This oh, is actually 19, the first time I'm using, I'm using this these days. This is and 11, these new. I roll with disadvantage. They're doing good for you so far, Lindsay. Yeah, so these were the Comic-Con special auditions from Comic-Con last year. They actually glow in the dark, too. Ooh. Thanks, Comic-Con. What did you end up with for that uh, stealth? Vosharef, sorry, I did not hear the oh, number you said. Eleven. Oh. Okay, it's not bad. I'm not a fibber. Uh, so I'm hearing we have well, but we have about um, we have above a twelve for the total. So you are not seen, and about forty feet up, poking its way through, you see another um, wasp, but this one seems almost armored. The others you've seen had just normal um, chitinous carapace that you would expect from a insect. This one, it seems to have been bolstered. There almost look to be iron plates up across its um, across its legs. Its mandibles are made almost like iron giant spikes sticking through them that give it this gruesome appearance. Um, it looks down and you can see that there is an alert intelligence to it, even beyond that of the regular hell wasps you've seen that kind of looks just around for a moment. It doesn't descend just yet, but just pokes its head around, antenna How around. far away is it from me? It's 40 feet up the, uh, in the sea. Okay, I, I'm Only probably you had boots floating. Of well, no, I was like, because I'm, fl I definitely am already above the ground because the ground was difficult to rain, right? <clears throat> yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so I was floating about that because I was like, oh, did it just enter my area? But hmm, not yet. But it's too far away. For a lesser DM, I would suspect that he just upped the power. This DM, I know planned ahead. <sighs> this one seems... <laughs> different and the way it's acting is also different as it kind of peeks its head in and looks around and then you see it slowly start to creep its way back up the hole that it came from you guys are all hidden if you wish to resume this initiative order and attack it that is up to you you hear more commotion from above though and it starts to slither its way back up quick question dm 
Uh, yes. When Marrow flew into the larger chamber with a passive perception of 20, would I have noticed any other tunnels going up? There, so there have been, uh, you know, multiple sets of tunnels to this point. Here, this and then the other chamber to the side, between the two of those, this is the only other passage you've seen leading directly up. I'm sure I would have shared that, so. Um, yeah. So we have to go this way. Do we yeah. think this is the highest level above us? No. That is more. Uh, so, actually, mathematically, with the 40 feet ceiling, uh, the 40 feet chambers, from what you've seen outside, do you think it's maybe about 150 feet tall total? Um, it c- could potentially be the highest chamber. One okay. more chamber up. So we have the option to attack this one while it's isolated or go up the only hole up to the next level and be surrounded by it and its crew. I mean, I'm cool to just fly up and fucking shove my glaive. Oh, you into would, you right would say now. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can cast uh, a spell up there. So, uh, yeah, we want to take this thing out. Yeah. You have to be careful if you were talking about something sickening because it goes around corners and down holes. It does, yeah. That's why I was thinking of casting it up to let it. It would drip onto us. <laughs> True. Not that a DM would do that, but what we are we doing? Yeah, out of the way. It's up it. to you. You see this again. I just want to reiterate the erratic behavior of the others was very normal. This one seems to have a more keen intelligence and tactical nature as it yeah. buzzes around, kind of checks out the immediate area and then very purposefully moves its way. I back. say hit hard, um, hit fast. We're going to call up. this Peter Wasp because it's smarter. <sighs> So we'll, what if if it's we have, we have a strike before it retreats, Peter? Is that what you're saying? If you would like, we all look at each other. Hmm. I say we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's get around off with this little waspy head. Yeah. Okay. Of course, it'll probably take more than two shots, and it'll probably yeah, have an AC can... higher than nineteen. Ooh, That's I'm okay. Gaming. Sorry. All right, let's do it. I will have, oops, I will have this one roll initiative, which I will have to Zero do. initiative is just fine. That's fine. You <laughs> could stay right there. You would say that. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we're going to bring this one. Hey, I said the wasp name Peter was smart. Okay. So, um, the amount of feet up it is, it will... Um, uh, we will begin this next part of the combat then. All right. This is also a surprise. Continue it going. Yes, you do have a... Will we roll um, initiative again or... We're nope, we'll the use the current initiative, the, the same initiative since this was just a quick reposition. And so we don't all have to re-roll. I've re-rolled initiative for the new bug. And uh, it is 40 feet up in this location, kind of in it a little um, uh, tubular passageway that goes into the higher levels. It is apparently looking around for a moment. Um, and then, boom, hit hard, hit fast is the way you decide to go. So we will start out with Helmara again. Sweep the leg. Uh, okay, great. So I am going to fly up. Uh, uh, so I'm going to, okay. Too much time has passed, so I will bonus action rage again. Uh, I will fly up and I will attack this guy recklessly with my great weapon with surprise. I'm gonna, so angry. I'm gonna totally miss with with that. So I'm gonna go in for a second attack. Ah, As a that's note, much you better. would not need to attack recklessly to get advantage if you don't want to oh. give it that advantage right back at you because it is a surprise. Oh, okay, target. yeah. Oh, that's right, because so. it's surprise. So I can still, if well, you I want still to attack missed. recklessly and give me advantage, no, I'll that, take it. No, that's fine. That's fine. So, <laughs> I thought yeah, you were being um, generous. I, I, I just assumed you were such a generous yeah, no. guest Thank you, Peter. Uh, player. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so that's going to be, that's going to be my, so my first attack definitely missed unless a, uh, yeah, 17 doesn't hit. Uh, so my my second attack is a 23 to hit. That'll do it. 
Great. So that is with this and this. Uh, five, six, eight, nine. Thirty-one. Uh, thirty-one points of damage. Ooh, ouch. And then uh, I will. So I was. Uh, so it was uh, forty feet. Okay. So I was already say five feet off the ground. I would have flown up within fifteen feet to hit it. So that would have been I don't know twenty feet to fly up where before he was in target. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to go back down whatever movement I have left to fly down a little bit is what I was trying to calculate. I understand. Okay, so you go. uh, Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Vosharev. Okay, so since that one-two punch worked so well last time, can I do that again this time? Uh, yeah. You mean for uh, doing, you're going to toll it? I'm going to toll it. Going to make that loud sound. All right. All right, I will roll. about to rock. (laughs) Wisdom save. I've rolled a 16. That's fail. All right. Bob's Burgers just started playing on a different tab. (laughs) Good choice. Happens I was to the like, best wow, of us. Someone sounds like H. John Benjamin. So weird. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Sorry, let me roll. Let me roll my virtual <laughs> dice. And I will toll the dead. And uh, Peter, yes, it is a wisdom 15. Oh, the wisdom 15? He passed. He passed? Yeah, it was 16. Yeah. Well, beans. But then. Valshareth just looks defeated. Oh, it was. <laughs> wow. Sorry. It's fine. And so it takes no damage in that case, I believe. Correct. Here. It kind of just looks at you and its wings that make that knife sharpening sound and buzz behind it. Which will bring us on to Marrow. Marrow. Right. So Marrow. I'm f- flying Marrow. five Marrow. feet off because I'm already on my broom. Um, uh-huh. Let me see. To get up to him, 25-ish, right? Mm-hmm. So depending on how you want to do the square root of the, the Sean's hypotenuse, right? Okay. So I can get up to him and out. Uh, I'm going to zip up to him. There is no one within five feet, so my super sneaky sneak. Oh, that was almost a crit. 29 to hit. Super nice. Hit. Nice. Hell Wasp Soldier. Ooh, 30 points of damage. Gorgeous. Ouch. And then I'm going to zip out of the way. I'm actually going to be uh, just under the ceiling. Um, so no more diagonal flying but I'll wind up over there. And uh, bonus action hide, just for the fun of it, because Rogue. Go ahead and give it a try. Ooh, only a 23. All done. <laughs> gotcha. Um, all right, Juniper, you are a big wind Yes, she is. Gusty form. <laughs> How dare you? Um, she just she is windy, it. but that, that kind of gave the wrong uh, impression. <laughs> She's a little gaseous. It's fine. Um, She's a gusty lady. That is uh, the ultimate smoky eye. Oh my god! Right. She's literally smoke. So she's gonna go yeah. in the tunnel next to the um, uh, next to the beast, and she's going to use a whirlwind attack on it. Uh, I need a strength saving throw, Peter. A whirlwind strength. Whirlwind. Right. Whirlwind. I'm gonna whirl. use. Oh, I, I. I rolled a natural three, but it's a 13, unfortunately. Which oh, meets. wow. It does yeah. meet. Wow. Oh, so in order for that to save, it would have to roll a two or a one. That's sad to know. All right. Well, it will only take uh, 
it'll only take nine damage then, uh, nine bludgeoning damage from that. And then it's yeah, strong. It's Isn't, very strong. Yeah. I think the DC's got to be higher than that. That's got to be using your spell attack, not that. Surely not the. Right. Uh, if that's the case, then it passes. I don't. This is. A I don't think it's a spell attack. Double check. Um, let's see under the. Uh, um, somebody calls the. It's the uh, no. It's it's a it's it's the elementals attack. It's the until, so it is a DC thirteen. That's a really low DC. That's very dis- really yeah. It's a DC thirteen Dex, not strength. Strength. Strength saving throw. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, then I see uh, if it if it is thrown at another creature. Okay, sorry. Uh, and then with my other attack, I will make a slam attack on the wasp, which okay. is a twenty to hit. Just hits. Oh, gorgeous! That is a total of fourteen damage. And um, I think I will incur an attack of opportunity as I go out of the hole. So I'll take I'll take that. Okay. Um, as you go back, okay, fourteen. Um, I don't think you can be grappled, can you? I cannot. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's mad though. It would try to stab him and use its reaction. I'm sure. That's fine. But if it attacks you, then I'm going to attack it because Sentinel. <laughs> I thought you didn't you fly back down out of range. You did. I'm out of range, but with the extended reach, he's he just has to be within 10 feet of me, not five feet of me, right? Because I've got the extended arms or is it 15 feet? It's, not crazy it's 15 arms. feet on your turn. It's 10 feet otherwise, I think, because doesn't the reach yeah. say on your turn that it, you get five feet yeah. of extra Sent- reach? Sentinel is five foot anyway for the for the attack of opportunity for that part. You have to be right, but with my bugbear, that five feet is 10 feet because I've got the extended arm reach. But I then does just- the pole arm apply to that as well? No. So, the that, but it, so then it would it just reads. be. The- it's when it's when a creature is within five feet of you and it attacks an ally, then you can do it. I mean, it's it's a little weird, but that's just right. The but with the bugbear, it, isn't it ten feet though? On your turn, which is also strange. But isn't that the way that that that's, reads? Well, that's the generic sentinel. Because I thought in general, hold on, where's the bugbear? Long limbed. Okay, when you make a melee attack, your reach is your reach for it is five feet greater than normal. Okay. Does it not say that, on your turn? That really it does say on your turn. That is that reads very weirdly. So it does I can kinda. So it's ten feet when I'm attacking, but not when I'm reacting. That's weird. It's a little okay. bit weird. Um That's a little weird. It's a weird. It's fine. I mean we totally your last call, session obviously, that way, I, so we'll just keep it consistent oh, and did, have it normal. Okay. So all right, uh, but totally fine. But Sentinel, Sentinel still reads, I believe, it's that five. A creature five feet. So we're going to stay with that. Um, You'll stay with that, okay? Yeah. So that being what said, if I... you wanted to stay up next to it, if that would have changed your action, um, you can go ahead. Uh, otherwise, if you wanted it, to retreat back down to stop. No, it it's it's it, it, yeah. That's why I I I was worried about my my buddies okay. below me. So yeah, so no, it's fine. Stinging. Thank you for on clarifying. Retreating air elemental. No problem. This is high level stuff, so it's a little uh, it's a little complicated. I have a thirteen. Does that hit an air elemental? That does not hit an air elemental. That's a shame. That was a. You're terrible. like whoosh. Terrible roll. <laughs> Nothing but air. <laughs> On her way down, she's like, "Bye." It was a, just a just a whoosh. Anyway, uh, uh, Carolus. Um, so coming from stealth, I'm still I still get advantage on my first attack. Yeah. Um. Surprise! Uh, surprise it's no longer surprised. That's why I wanted to do an over initiative. Uh, 26. Two hits. Two hits indeed. Oh, nice. Uh, 26 damage. 26, okay. I move back to here. <laughs> Do this you one move might it make it out of the Do you knock it back up the, up the um, hole? 
yeah, I unlock it just outside of um, Helmara's reach. So if it comes to attack. Okay, yeah. so just a little bit back Literally up. Literally five foot, yeah. Or whatever right. it is, just outside of her reach. Mind you, it's her no, attack so anyway. So that so if it anyway, advances so at back. all, Yeah, it's her attack anyway, so... So she's gonna move Well, in. yeah, for, for polearm, it's 15 feet. I got, over, I got a lot of distances to think about. <laughs> well, you can still do that and then move out. You thought yeah, you were building yeah. a simple character and you made it weirdly mechanical without oh, realizing it. I was like, God, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Welcome to Math Finder. Wait, no, 5 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my ruler. <laughs> Oh, no, we're not wargaming. No, none of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only digital no, rulers here. No slide Wee. rule here. No slide rule. Slide rule. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. What's up, Helmara? What are you doing? Oh, it's my turn now. Yay. Uh, okay. So I am going to go. So all my companions are now way away from it. Awesome. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to go up 15 feet or I guess right here. Well, I guess I guess I can stay there because you moved him a little bit. Uh, I'm going to swipe at him. Uh, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, so I am going to uh, I'm going to recklessly attack him with my glaive. With the uh, with a uh, great weapon, uh, so that is going to be a a twenty one to hit. Hits. Great. So that is going to be this. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Eight. Crits kills bugs dead. Uh, twenty seven points of damage for my first attack. Second attack uh, with uh, all the things is going to miss. And then bonus action pole arm with the buck side of it is uh, without yeah, without great weapon um, is going to be yeah, 24 to hit. And that's just yeah. a D4. I don't, I, I so don't need to say this because you're a bugbear, but you're a beastly fighter. Uh, so that's just going to be 12 points of damage for that last one. Just. 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 Okay. Just. Well, last time. Um, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, sorry. No, 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 go ahead. No, the, that, that is my done. turn. And uh, yeah, I'm going to yeah Reaction stay where i am I, I'm, you can scoot out if you wanted to yeah 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 that's okay good call so i'm gonna boop yeah and you could stay up close to the top of the ceiling like i am yeah that's that's so what i'm doing just, i'm trying to yeah i i mean you can't say floating on roll 20 but i'm, I'm still up hot yeah <laughs> noted She's so oh, high, 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 high above you me. You do something good this time, Bosharat. <gasps> oh, I never. Um, Love you, mean it. Oh my god, don't lie to me. We, so, we see whose team you're on. Oh my god, listen, I think that uh, Miss Encino is on her own team. Anyway, um, what I will do is I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try to toll the dead again. And so, um, 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 um. let's hear um, 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 what's your um, save. Um, um, um. <laughs> I have a nine on my die. Uh, plus 15. The wisdom, right? What? Meet to beat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. <clears throat> beat. Okay. Um, this is no ordinary wasp. No ordinary truly. wasp. So I guess Bushrath does nothing. Bushrath oh, is No, that's a, is that that's an action. Garbage. Pull the dead. Yeah, it's an action. Do you have any cool bonus action stuff? Because I don't. That's what's so fun about this particular time for me. 
<laughs> Another, uh, have you, d just a uh, feature, and this is tough because we've jumped in all the way into higher levels, but have you taken a look at the warding flare feature? Just so you are, you know, nothing has gotten a uh, attack off, but just uh, this combat yet, but just uh, take a uh, read about that one because you can create a gr bright flash of light and impose disadvantage on an attack against one of your allies, which is pretty neat. Just know that you have that in your kit as a reaction when one of your allies gets attacked. That is a, that's a neat thing to know that I have in my kit. <laughs> in the kitty kit. I appreciate kit. Right. it. All right, yeah, that would be me. That's me. All right. Um, that brings us on to Maro. Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And dance, 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 and dance, dance, dance. Oh. I'm going to fly <laughs> forward, hanging from my broom. Ah! And I'm going to go right under him and try to just stab him. Only a 12 to hit, though. I don't uh, think that. Not, 12 will does do not it. do it, no. No. Um, and I'm, uh, obviously it's because I was hanging from the broom and my little feet were dangling yeah. <laughs> stabbing at it I lose my grip and I'll just zip right back out to there and, are you actually going to drop uh, down or are you just just flavorfully falling no the broom is bumping broom against moving. the ceiling I'm, I'm okay. hanging from it uh, <laughs> little little feet dangling like they do okay and and I'm all done all right so you're near it then you have not moved away from it is that what I'm hearing or oh no, no I flew away from it I flew okay, I, gotcha. I zipped away from it this um, creature being um, very uh, Bloodied, it looks like it's dripping sort of fiendish ichor from a number of cracks in its reinforced carapace. Starts to crawl its way back up the um, tube as if retreating. It disengages and flies up, and you can hear it on its turn um, sort of clattering sound of it communicating and you can almost hear this buzz in the air as the hive the mind communication air. takes place between its uh, um, was Halmera within range it, and is it mm -mm. no took a disengage action but I guess doesn't that doesn't matter, matter with sentinel oh disengage does. doesn't matter with sentinel now okay if you were in range you would have provoked but it seems to have retreated uh, back up no because it, it that's that whole five feet oh five wait feet, no that's within feet, a target then. Uh, oh, I if guess you were within 15 if, you within, feet of it, with, if I was within a, 15 feet of it. Oh, then, yeah, that would have hit. So I was thinking okay. Sentinel as in. But yeah. So then, yeah, I will take that attack of opportunity to right. uh, to smash it. Because this is not the type uh, of class we want. No. So that's going to be 14, 27 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's just one D10, though, guys. Uh, so oh. 10, 15 10, points 10. of damage. Yes. Please tell me that, that kills it. it. Thought it was enough, but will do it. And this clunky, terrible Hellwasp soldier <sighs> will cut to the ground. Yes. You will hear, though, as it falls, a sound from above. It... <gasps> Anger, pain, or something hissing out from the chamber above all of you. Can't wait. Let's do it. Let's go. Awesome. Sounds fun. Are you going up? Anything you do before ascending? Yes. I right. cast greater invisibility on myself as we're just about to go through the hole. You guys want to keep the same initiative and just boom, fly right up and guns blazing, or are you planning on this, trying this to talk seems or to explore work. or do I was going to say, let's or... let things come. Let's let things come down one at a time and just, you know, well, that gives that gives the chance to pull for aid. Yeah, for... there's there's like many, many nests around here. All right. All right. Let's 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 take them out. I know that'll be more exciting for Peter. All right. You guys are just brawling all the way through. I like it. Um, it's, it's it's a four part one shot. <laughs> it kind go of hard is. or go home. Go hard or go home. 
All right, so uh, I will allow anyone to take, uh, if Carolus wants to take a greater invisibility, anyone else mm -hmm. can do one action before we resume. Uh, would you guys prefer to reroll initiative or use the same count moving forward? I don't, I wouldn't mind giving it a try rerolling. Yeah, how, how, how does everybody do feel it. about it? Okay, okay. Yeah, in that case, okay. We will when we get up. it, and I will give a brief description of what uh, is seen at the top as you guys come over to the top in a moment. But first of all, so I heard a greater invisibility. Juniper, what are you doing? Uh, I tried to reroll to gain my um, my whirlwind back, and I did not get it back. Okay. Anyone else like to take an action as they are going up into the top level before we um, do this? I, I'm moving okay. stealthy. 27. Got it. I believe I've used my rods function of the day. Yes. Um, who is... Uh, hmm. I would like to cast Guidance. Um, a cantrip. And give it to... I feel like... Who needs it? Because <laughs> I feel cannot. like... Our good friend, um, ha Hallie, <laughs> El <Ellie>. Elmara, <laughs> does Ellie. not, because she kicks ass. Um, are we stealthing, know. are we? Yeah, what uh, if I guide Camaro myself is, up? But, but, um, I would also stealth. Okay, but, so. Yeah. Oh, beans. Okay. Okay, you guys, so this is, is going to be some group? longer time then. So it's not just one action and up. So if you guys want to take, a, a, you know, half a minute or a minute oh, and no. then charge up. Okay, because did you see what I'm getting at, yeah. uh, Jade? So you, you use invisibility. I was asking everyone else if they want to do one thing before you pop up and we reroll initiative. So um, here's this greater invisibility. Uh, we've got stealth from Marrow. Um, Juniper attempted to re-roll that. Uh, we got a guidance from Volsharef and Helmara. Was there something you wanted to do? Nothing, just oh, be mad I'm and ready. go maybe. Cool, all right. Um, I still don't know who is getting my guidance. What's the guidance Who's raising for? their hand? Ability check. Yeah, uh, D4 to an ability check. You could use it on your initiative if you want. I believe. You, then mm -hmm. she should give that to Helly. Mm -hmm. okay. Bonus on initiative. Oh, okay, sure. So it's a well, D4. She... Okay, yeah. Because we're re-rolling initiative, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you guys are teaming up. Is initiative a skill check? Does it count for that? Mm, That's what the DM just check. said. Yes. Yeah, ability it's an check. ability check. All right. Cool. All right. So what then do we let's, see? Uh, then I will, I'll, let's say that works. You guys ascend up this other hole that is very similar um, and find yourselves on the final fourth floor. You can see glowing in the far corner, a giant celestial body and sort of thrumming in motion and in um, light. Uh, this is the, where you guys are coming out from just so you know, um, but in oh, this corner is this body of this dead celestial and the, you can see the light of the heart as well as the movement of its pulsing is over there. You see um, a few hell wasp grubs lying on the ground that are sort of twitching as if in pain with every beat of this celestial heart. And you can see one more of these um, uh, soldiers sitting beyond uh, about 30, 40 feet away from you near this giant pile of refuse. And it's kind of in a protective formation. And it, as soon as it sees you, it moves to interpose itself between you and whatever is this pile. Now, as um, you all emerge, we will reroll initiative. You can clearly see that the heart is here. It is causing immense pain and even um, s sort of psychic anguish to the creatures on this level. But um, 
you will put him out of that anguish pretty quickly, I take it. So we will re-roll initiative on our break. It is about, we're about two hours in. We've got about a little more to go. So oh. it's eight o'clock or uh, two hours in. It's perfect time to take a little bio break and say uh, BRB to you all, our wonderful audience. So um, so as we resume here, you guys have ah, just now made your way up to the final layer. Carolus, you're completely invisible. Juniper, you're a giant swirling mass of air. Um, Hel- Helmar is looking at the ready. Uh, Marrow is hard to see as he is kind of just very quietly at the edge of the hole, just peeking his eyes out. And Vosharath, you have empowered your friend to act quickly when the time comes, if they do indeed choose to act violently. I've asked for initiative roles. I believe the only one I don't have at the moment is Helmara. Oh, sorry. That's fine. You get D four as well. Uh, I I rolled. Oh well, I rolled two sixteen. So like. We'll add the D four. Uh, well, what did everyone else roll? So that's a nineteen. Hi. That's a 19 without it, so I'll add it. 22. There you go. Um, I believe you'll be, yeah. Wow, you guys. We have uh, me slowing some, the team down. I'm really glad we rerolled those. Scores <laughs> over um over, yeah. Uh let's see. I'm just setting this up here. And Ooh, good music, good music, very dramatical. Spoopy. 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 Okay. And While we're doing this, I encourage everyone, if you have not yet visited your spirit Halloween store this season, please do. <laughs> they even have Dungeons and Dragons stuff there now. It's awesome. Really? Do they know? Truly. Journals, pens, candy tins, outfits. Wow. So you hear now, or you see as you um, approach, as you ascend to the final level here, in the far corner is a giant form, the beating heart still, um, well, pulsating within this celestial corpse. The corpse is buried almost halfway into the wall, it looks like. Um, you'll need to dig away some of the paper and such uh, to get all the way to it. In addition, all of the ground here seems to be littered with pools of this amberous looking um, sap. Looks incredibly sticky, Icarus. So that is that. Um, the Hell Wasp soldier, this other one, is aware of your presence and seems to be backing almost defensively towards this large pile of rubbish and corpses here. Is uh, It is very dark. Does everyone have dark vision or a light? Is someone carrying a torch? Um, I, I believe do not. Sh- Sorry. Sorry, someone cast light onto a piece of armor, which unless it's been dispelled is still going. It's still going. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Okay. It says that it's only for an hour and I cast it yes, well, yesterday in the game time, I guess. But. I think it was last session, but I believe yes. that would yeah. still be today. So yeah. those and we only had a 10 minute short rest. So yeah, we had so a 10 minute short rest. Of, hour. Yeah, we're yeah. still yeah. good, I think. Yeah. So Vosher, oh. is that is that 30? 30 bright, 30 dim, or 15 bright, 15 um, It is 20 foot bright and dim for an additional 20 feet. So 40 feet total, dim the last 20. Okay. Let's do that. So that you guys can see in bright light and we'll just sort of measure out then those of you who cannot see in the darkness. Um, well, oh, I've got, actually, I've it's got better if I do loads of dark so. vision. Loads of it. Loads. Okay. I got, well, because my totem spirit's the eagle, so I've got like up to a mile away and. Gotcha. Nice. Well, that is the dim light. It's bright halfway out there. We'll just, we'll just keep it this way. Or maybe 
So it might it might come to matter. So cool. So again, it is defensively backing up to this mound. Do you guys continue your path of aggression and just Oh hell yeah. Okay. I can talk to it. Burning this <laughs> if thing. If only down, we I had guess. a druid that could speak never I can speak to it. I can, but Can you? You can? Both. Yeah. Can you? You can speak to Hell Wasp? I can speak to any creature um, by casting tongues, but... Oh, good. That'll be more effective than your Told the Dead. Cat. Oh, (gasps) my God. Bella is offended. (laughs) He's offended. On uh, I was not turn, aware Juniper that, multi-class wow. into Bard and used Vicious Mockery there. <laughs> That's right. Oh. No kidding. Anything Juniper's else on your turn, girl. Juniper? Holy <laughs> moly. Secret uh, Team Melvin badge over there. What's going on? Uh, Just Ew, get out being a butthead because she knows I love her. Um, okay, so... Uh, so where is the... Okay, so this is not the queen that we're looking at. This is another one of those armored foes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, we don't see the queen? That's correct. All right, I assume she's in this pile of garbage uh, and nastiness. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, come up to the armored foe here. And first I'm going to roll to see if I get my uh, attack back that isn't going to do much against him, but I want to have it at the ready just in case. And I don't. Uh, so I will do a couple of slam attacks against this um, against this little beast. I have uh, an 18, which does not hit, but then I have a crit. crit. Nice. Kills bugs. Crit. Dead. Crit will hit. All right. That is uh, 24 points of damage. Good slam. It is a good slam. Bludgeoning damage. And uh, I will draw back to incur an attack of opportunity. Okay. It will do so. I have a seven, uh, 27 total. That'll hit. Yep. Uh, Okay. I have dice to roll. This is a sting. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Please make a constitution save. Actually, I'm immune to poison, so... Oh my gosh, nice. Sorry about uh, it. Uh, poison damage or just the condition? Uh, uh, both. I'm immune to poison damage and the condition. Just 17 points of piercing damage in that case. All right. It is considered That's... magical, if that matters. It does not. All right. Anything else on your turn? Uh, um, no. That's, uh, that's the end of my turn. Cool. I'll just come back here. Marrow, you are hidden from the sight of uh, the creatures, I believe. And I'm flying on my broom. I'm going to zip right up to it. Uh, Take a shot there. There's nothing within five feet, so I will be getting the sneak attack because rogues wash. And that to hit is a 23 to hit. That's a hit. And I am going to use... uh, Istix binding ties. So if okay. it moves out of its area, let me know. Otherwise, 31 points of damage. Okay. Nice. A big one. Nice. And that was 30 feet in, and I'm going to go the rest of my movement, 50 feet flying on the broom, hanging with one hand. <laughs> Stab it as I go by. Uh, <laughs> and it cannot provoke... It does not get an opportunity to attack because rogues wash. And mm-hmm. the uh, best class ever. Wee! My first time playing one. Oh, um, I absolutely love it. Yeah. Haven't even put on a Ponzi hat yet. Uh, and can you and, call yourself a rogue? <laughs> you absolutely can. Yes, no. <laughs> Listen here, Mrs. Oh, never mind. Wrong game. Just Waldo de la Toca de la Calamba de Fuego. Very good. <laughs> Sean would be so right. offended. I know. Oh I'll God, be his done. face every single time. So funny. I won't even uh, dash or disengage or anything. Can I dash on a broom? DM. Um, 
You... Is that even a thing? Is it while you're on it, you have a flying speed of 50? Is that what the... Yeah, it says... It? Yeah. Uh, like, like uh, pull it up. I know it's a flying speed of 50. I know that part. Um, I know ZC is out there giving tips on Twitch today, but I haven't been paying attention. Um, flying speed of 50 feet. It has, not me. So I don't know, can I make a broom dash? Um, I'm going to say yes. If yes, that I'm going to... Just use this reaction anyway. It doesn't... No, it, it, it can't do a thing on me anyway. I'm just going to zip all the way to the back of the room and then be done. All done. Okay. Helmara. All right. So I am going to... Um... Run up, and I'm going to uh, recklessly attack it with great. Well, I'm going to bonus action rage, then recklessly attack it with the great weapon master. Um, might not hit. Uh, let's see here. Uh, twenty-one to hit just hits great so that is gonna be this uh tw- wait did i do that right yeah 27 points of damage ouch and i'm gonna swipe at it again with all the things uh that do the, do the thing do the thing do all the uh, things this is a 19 hit uh, 19 does not, unfortunately. I didn't think so. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna be where, yeah, so I'm gonna make sure I'm what was it? What did we say? 10 feet away, 15 feet away, whatever. I, if he steps in and I can hit him with the pole, pole arm, that's how far away I am from him. Okay. Um, it's relative math. Be one more square away. <laughs> One more square um, away. I should here. say to, if you're moving through that, I, I totally forgot this before. You're flying though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I got my boots. Right, I'm, up, right. I'm like five feet above the ground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're not stepping on the sticky stuff. Not stepping on the gross, difficult terrain. Exactly. Okay. Oh, what 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 is the yellow section? ODM. It is. It looks like sticky, kind of sap-like substance. So, yeah. That's what that is. All right, now on on initiative count 20, a thing happens. Here, a suddenly thing. a, um, let's see, Two back. Is this indeed 20 feet? Yes. Yeah. Wait, wait. 25. Okay. I will reduce it a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Yes. From there, suddenly a a fissure opens up in the hive and noxious gases seep out, obscuring Uh. the area. And... Um, it is uh, lightly obscured. So ranged attacks from this area will have disadvantage, and um, it is absolutely noxious for those it of you a, inside. It is a gas? Yes. Oh, man, if only we had, like, an air elemental. <laughs> to do what? <laughs> Blow it away. Gus. Vosharath, it is your turn. Okay, so despite this uh, gaseous <laughs> enclosure, um, can I still s- cast Toll the Dead without any? I'm still trying for it because now Juniper's made it a thing, and so <laughs> I am still gonna try for it. Um, can 
Will I have disadvantage on that? No. No, because it's not that it's not an attack, so it's just a saving throw that it makes. As long as you can yes. see it, which you can, you can um, make it roll that. Okay. That's what I would like to do. <laughs> okay. And then you could then you could probably scoot out of the area. Yes. This time I've only rolled a three, so <gasps> I think. Yay! Yay! Okay, Thanks great. for participating. Super wet. <laughs> oh my god. So, um, Bushareth, she's frustrated and annoyed, frankly. Uh, not that she'd show it by Juniper. <laughs> and Juniper has not said it, anything. This is all me. Player being an asshole. She just hears this little voice in her ear. <laughs> um, yeah. And she takes a breath, because she's realized it's like it hasn't worked these last couple times. And so she takes a deep breath and says, Iliana, don't fail me now. And takes a deep breath and says, Nevgurtha Iliana. And Casts toll the dead and bong, bong, bong. Pull <laughs> some sick damage on this. You got this. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. And it's missing hit points, right? Oh, it yeah. Is. It is. Yes. <laughs> Fools, you underestimated me, Juniper and Sino. It wasn't me. Oh my god, it came out of your mouth. <laughs> she totally leaves in you. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know she does. Don't have a death cow. Oh my god, I've already had it! Uh, Alright, let's see. <laughs> oh, beans! <gasps> it was 26. a gluten-free death cow. Oh my god, Ooh. it was um, fair trade, gluten-free. <laughs> Non-GMO, obviously. 26, nice. How oh, much damage? Wow. 26. Ow. Necrotic. Points of Ow. necrotic damage. This is tot. Not good. Uh, so <laughs> this is tot. It is not tot. I forgot to say, uh, Juniper, at the beginning, er, excuse me, Vosharef, at the beginning of your turn, please make a constitution saving throw as you breathe in this, um, oh. these noxious At fumes. the beginning of the turn. Beans. Ouch. <laughs> Stinky oh, beans. I thought I was adding flavor and then I get punished. What kind of storytelling is that? Poison <laughs> flavor. <laughs> Uh, wow, DM, like, no tea, no shade, but all tea full shade. Um, sorry, so it's a con save, which one? Con, con? yeah. 16. You, Who's uh, wearing the cloak failed. of arachnidia? Uh, Juniper. protect against poison? Juniper. Oh, would what protect against asking. poison? Asking. The cloak. Oh, uh, research for your turn. Bye. Well, I can't. I can't attune to it until I have a long rest or a, a short rest, a full oh. like an hour. So I, it's it's on. But we it, had a I short rest. You guys could have attuned to those items yeah, yeah, yeah. on a short you rest. In that case, so, yeah. uh, but I don't. Uh, it's, research. Uh, I'm an, I'm an air elemental, so it's not going to affect me. Oh, but, yeah, that's right. So, yeah. Anyway, now you're going. all full of stinky air. So I rolled a sixteen. You are poisoned. Beans! And if you feel your lungs starting to choke up, you feel that if you cannot shake off this poison next turn, you may be incapacitated. May, the I, cloud girl. may I move from the cloud? You may. I would love nothing more. Is than it difficult move. terrain? Not for her. But I am wearing freedom a of thing, movement. or I got a thing. A thing, and the thing is freedom of movement. Um, Scoobily boop 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 boop. Oh my goodness, Beep, bop, look, this follows me. Oh, so sorry, I got very distracted. There was an ADHD moment. I'm like, whoa. My <laughs> <Okay>. aura. <laughs> my aura, it moves. Oh my gosh. Sorry, okay, Where are you I moving moved to? out of the cloud. I just moved closer to the lava. That's a wall, honey. That's a, you're, you're inside a wall there, so. What, I thought that was just a little lava area. <laughs> It's nope. like the cliff overlooking you, the lava. You gotta, gotta go. Okay, so let me focus. Here. Let me focus. <laughs> I take another deep breath and I incur more poison damage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will go here. <laughs> okay. DM's listening for that. You did what? <laughs> I know. I thought I was anything a else. Retailer and I got punished. No, that's it. Oh my gosh. All right. No. Uh... Just kidding. You're great. <laughs> There are no qualms about the next action in that case. All right. 
Emerging from this pile of corpses oh, is okay. a giant one might say huge hell wasp. This one bigger than all of the previous ones you've seen. It observes this affront to its territory and you see its mandibles start to twitch around and then sparks begin to form around this and it breathes in and then you see it kind of tilt its large abdomen below it and from almost like a spider's spinneret um, you see this gaseous liquid begin to um, spray out towards you which then becomes ignited by the sparks from her mandibles and in a cone of um, very large proportion uh, which I will reveal bye, bye, in a bye. moment here um, layer token. And we are so thankful to all of our viewers who have given us donations to the equivalent of advantage for each one of us, should it be needed. Oh my gar. That's should the hive. That's the size of the oh hive. Oh my gar. Yeah, she's going to move here and do that. <gasps> she's Those of you in fire, that cone, yo. please make a dexterity saving throw. Ew. Ooh, dex. And declare if you're using I your am inspiration. Not dexterous. Oh my god. Oh, that's a crit. I am using my so... inspiration. I oh. sneeze. Is it a magical effect? <laughs> it is not. Okay. Okay, so it's just fire. I yep, mean, I'm, I I'll declare the damage in a moment here. Okay. But yeah. Well, I'm also immune to everything except psychic. So. Immune or resistant? Resistant. Uh. I'm resi sorry, not immune, resistant. Yeah. I'm gonna that would be the most it. badass bugbear ever. Right? No. Bugbear! Yes. Um, am I poisoned even though I moved out of the club? Yes, you are. Ah, oh, beans. Okay, and so since I'm poisoned, does that mean doesn't that have I'm... it doesn't affect saving throws. Okay, that's good. I was like, do I have so uh, the DC was 18. Those of you who fail take 56 <gasps> points of fire damage. Oh. Half on a success. Beans. Or with resistance, Six. it's a quarter. Uh, right? Yeah, so I saved and I have resistance. Yeah, so so you um, take uh, twenty eight to uh, fourteen. Fourteen better damage. Copy that. Gay wild shape. My goodness, holy crap! Iliana! Is your is your wild shape still up? Yeah. Wow. Has his form gone now? It is not. It didn't burn up that gas. I declare a shenanigans of science. Different Our kind nanogens. of. It's, you he know. blinded you with science. <laughs> You're blind. Beep, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Blade and bow, everyone. You're welcome. Um. Also, I'm living for this gaseous form token. It is super cool. <laughs> It's pretty nice, right? Looks cool. Yeah. All right. I was like, that'd be a cool tattoo. The uh, writing around the edge is actually a translation uh -huh. into an ancient language of all the spells that do acid damage. Stop it. It's not Stop true at all. I it. just made that up. Oh my gosh. Dang it, Peter, <laughs> you had me. I believe you. It's you guys. I believe everybody that I trust. Bluff no, was I super trust effective. Them anymore. <laughs> I'm the easiest uh, person to bluff. I'm like, why, really? Because <laughs> I oh, never dear. lie. Oh dear, Carlos. Um, please make a con save at the beginning of your turn. No, never mind. You don't do poison stuff because yeah. you're all you want to like. It is um, lightly obscured, though. I'm five foot up at it, uh, off the ground. So uh, this this mist is it everywhere? It is. Um, because of the radius and the height of everything to make it easy you will have to travel through it and out in order to evade it you can't just fly up to the ceiling it is encompassing that whole alcove there okay um i stay here for a minute and i will cast synaptic what's it called synaptic static, static. it's a 20 foot radius and it's easier for you to say this and that 
Say that five times fast. Intelligent oh. saves. Intelligent save DC nineteen. Okay. Ooh, Queenie rolls. Avantage. Queen will save, Yay. and the soldier roll the seventeen on the die. Is it going to be enough? Plus one, uh, 18 on for the soldier. Okay. 33 damage. Half for Queenie. Okay. Um, the soldier has muddled thoughts for a minute. It needs to roll a d6 and subtract the number rolled from its attack rolls and ability checks. As well as constitution saving throws to maintain concentration. And then you can make one at the end of your turn. Gotcha. To see if you're not muddled anymore. Okay. Not not to be rude or anything, but what's the range on that? Do you get to pick the creatures? 120 foot. 120 I'm at the foot effective foot. damage range. Uh, 20 foot. Do you get to pick the creatures? Oh, uh, I placed it. It's in a 20 foot radius. 20 foot it's radius. a blob. Oh. Yeah, he. Uh, could you put a 20 so this is a 20 foot radius it's getting it's getting somebody <laughs> uh, uh he could he oh, could have done it right there yeah but you could go yep. up, up and right one and it would still be fine yeah you're or good. like yeah Oops. okay all right at the end of your turn i'm gonna move as well okay 20. um I think this is what we're going to do. No. I don't think so, actually. Isn't the soldier dead now? We kind of kicked the crap out of it. You did. It is not quite dead. Ugh. It is looking quite Almost awful. Dead. As it reveals itself. I forgot to do this, but we'll do it right now. Please, everyone, make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, what? shit. What's this again? Is this magical effect? No. Oh, I failed. 24. Uh, 8. 11. Beep, bop, boop. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Uh, it's a, I have a plus oh, 7 modifier, so I got 25. I have... So I still have inspiration from the other thing. Uh, I, I probably still fail, though. 14. 14 is a fail, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, DC is 18. Those of you who failed are frightened of the queen. It's her frightening presence. I ain't scared the, of no uh, queen. What's Das that? queen. I said, I ain't scared of no queen. <laughs> you will be. You her is the queen. will be. Um, Does the queen be at her school? <laughs> it's my best, Jim Henson. Anyway, uh, we will use our turn to move to here. She looks like she's about to attack you, Vosharef. Oh, she's going to turn now? Not me. At the end of her turn. Oh. At the end of uh, Carolus's turn. Oh, le le legendary. Legendary. She moves legendary. in a legendary fashion. All right. This B, what are the debilitating effects on it again, Jade? Um, minus six to attack rolls, uh, saving throws, anything like that. All right. Minus D6. All right. This one will move and provoke. Oh, it moves, does it? An attack. Wait, it moves? Oh, it. Oh, you also have that effect in it. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, is that right? No. It Let me should try be. It from no, that's still. Yeah. It's not. It should what be the... based on your level, so it should be 3d8, right? Yeah. So that's 1d8, 2d8. I'll just do another d8. It's being wonky. Yeah. So it just took f 15 points of damage as the binds that had appeared around it cracked, bloodied, and broke. Boom! And 15 so points of is damage. the creature itself, which falls 
bloodied and broken. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Disappointing, but understandable. At the end of its turn, the queen will reach out with her large stinger and make a sting attack against Bosharef. Let's roll this knew it. giant metal boss crack and die here. What? Liz, I've um, what unfortunately... Happened? You roll a crit? You roll the crit. Three. But Three. Why don't you use your reaction thing, Liz? Hmm. <laughs> What's so fun Just is see my... if it's a, if it's a creature other than you. Just make sure if it's not that. I, it, it might not be. I, I don't know actually. I, I truly don't know. I'm You're just... fine. <gasps> when I am attacked by a creature. So are you going to use your reaction to do a warding flare? Yeah, the DM was super nice earlier and told me about it. So I am. Got to use it. Gotta use I, it, so I did. I have a 22 as my disadvantage attack in that case. Um, that will be... Uh, do, 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 excuse me. Um, where's my sting? Ha! I'm gonna ro- help use the... computer for this. Take 31 points of piercing damage and please make a constitution saving throw. Good grief. I'm down. All right. Exactly Still need to make points. a uh, constitution saving throw. Okie dokie. That's a lot of sixes. 20. Or a lot of high numbers. 30, okay. 20. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> interesting. You guys see. Uh, oh, well, this is an interesting effect, actually. Uh, sorry, I'm just making sure I read this. <laughs> it's always bad when the DM says that. Interesting. We scream so you... out, no, come of us, Oh my gosh. That freedom of movement. So here's the thing. Liz, you feel your body, uh, you fall over, and um, you feel this uh, poison surging through your body, and you feel every joint, every piece of your body lock up, and you fall over like a stiff board, as if perhaps you were to be wrapped up later and feasted upon by these hell wasp grubs. Suddenly, the um, living nature (laughs) of the things in this nest makes a lot of sense, but you feel then a counteractive magic breaking this paralysis. You are still at zero hit points, but the nature of this poison means you are unconscious but stable at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Oh my gosh, thanks, Careless. <clears throat> I'm very well. We still gotta bring the healer up, like, stat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which brings us to Juniper, I believe. The only one I can cast. Ah, that's right. Oh, but y'all have healing potions, right? You could get them to her. I would have to drop. How did Juniper get into the lava? Uh, Oh, oh, never mind. Juniper is the air ball. Sorry. Flying. Are you Um, are you immune to poison as an air elemental? By the way. Yes. Yes. Good for you. Thanks. Um. Oh, can nobody else? Can nobody else heal? That's really heal. unfortunate. What's that? I haven't got heal. Okay. All right. Uh, then Someone I'm might. gonna. Oh. I'm. How is ever? Is everybody hurting right now? Is everybody like? I'm in, totally fine, and I can heal. I'm. Oh, frightened. you can heal. Shh. You can heal. Okay. Just barely. And I, like really I've badly. Hit, I've lost some hit points. Oh, know. but you're, but you, but if you can heal, we're, uh-huh. if, if uh, he can heal, we're in good shape because he's next yeah. turn. So I'm going to. If you to, can uh, okay, remove the frightened condition, that would be awesome too. That I, I can't do. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Peter. I feel 
terrible, but this is actually not a magical effect. This is the biology of the creature. It's been more than one turn, so it doesn't matter. Okay, well. What, what would that be against? I'm sorry, yeah, what, can you? What does that mean? The freedom of movement. You'd still be dying. Oh my goodness. Uh, she's, the freedom of movement is powerless regardless of what it is, magical, natural, what, whatever it is. Spells and other magical effects can neither reduce the target speed nor cause it to be paralyzed or restrained. But Doesn't this say is natural a biological abilities. component. Is it not? Love it. So I am also paralyzed. Do you have any resistance to poison? Or per- yeah. immunity to poison? Didn't Me you roll a 20? I did. I rolled a dirty 20. Oh. Even so. Yeah. So it's an effect that it incurs when poison damage, when the poison damage of this attack reduces you to zero hit points. What Sorry, Vosharath, but you are poisoned, poisoned and paralyzed <laughs> in this instance. Oh, good grief. You are stable, okay. though, at zero hit points. In my state of poisoning and paralysis. Okay. What's the DC if she didn't pass on a 20? She passed. Oh, okay. It All also right. mentions okay. non-magical stuff underneath that as well. What is it that you're looking at? Freedom of movement. Because obviously it's, it's also got the thing on top of that where you can spend five feet of movement to automatically escape non Incoming. Stuff. Roll 20. Yeah. The target can also spend five feet to automatically escape. Yeah. That doesn't, that's area effects don't, she's unconscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have thought freedom of movement would cover that as well. Okay. All right, am I ready to take my turn? I appreciate you. <laughs> Sorry. It is a, uh, this is the a creature a much like a dragon where a dragon's breath is not a magical weapon. It is simply a, wondrous creature that its biology is bizarre and nevertheless natural. Um, so Juniper, four, does that get your attack that back? That gets my whirlwind attack back. So with All my right. first attack, I'm going to make a whirlwind attack on the queen. I need a strength saving throw. Okay. Um, I have, I have a 16. Yep, that'll do it. So she only takes 10 points of bludgeoning damage and does not get knocked prone. I figured that would be the case, but I wanted to give it a shot. And then uh, the other attack will be a slam attack. And a 14 is not going to hit. 14 will miss, unfortunately. And so I'm going to move out of the way to incur an attack of opportunity. All right, it will slash at you. Okay. Instead of stinging. Um, oof. I have a natural, well, 14 hit. It does not. Okay, I thought I could get away with a natural two, but I guess not. All right, that is the end of it. Cool. Anything right. else? No, that's it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Marrow. Right. Um uh, Marrow's going to it's okay. No Voshi Yeah, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> then... Why do I feel like he's Frodo and Pippin Shut at up. the same time? <laughs> <laughs> No. Flying on the his broom that he's, that he's holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's holding the broom overhead. No. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to zip by and using just 35 feet of movement, um, going to zip right over, just using the magic speed of the flying broom and using uh, something that was bestowed to him upon him by a beggar on the street. Isek of the Jug will reach down and touch, assuming that she doesn't dodge, um, healing Vosharath Noth for two hit points. The okay. lowest possible roll. <laughs> 1d8 plus one. Two All right. hit points. 
Volsharef, <laughs> you regain your eyes. You feel yourself coming back to life. Meryl, you see her eyes, the intelligence coming back to them, the uh, consciousness coming back to them. And it looks like she's opening her mouth to say thank you. And then you can see a little bit of panic widen in them. Volsharef, you still cannot move even with two hit points. And you look at um, uh, up towards your friend and cannot thank him or make any expression as the poison continues to hold your body in paralysis. Now, Anything uh, else, uh, what are the table rules for feeding potions? Action. Okay, that I've already done my action, so. Um, I've still got 15 feet of movement left. I'm going to go to right there. I can't really hide. <laughs> I, I don't want to stretch. He has posed an interesting question in chat. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, wait. That's right. Um, frightened. Yeah, so you're frightened. Oh. Meaning you can't move closer to her. That's okay. Without... That's okay. Does that... Do it, I still I, get this? I've got this. Well... So Ooh. I just... Anything I... Well, when do I get my saving throw? For Frightened. End of your turn. <sighs> then I'm going to... Fly away over here. And I'm really, really, really trying to heal her. And if I can get to her, then it will be for two hit points. We'll keep the roll. And then I'm going to hide because I'm scared. Okay, and then go take ahead my and roll stealth. <laughs> Rogue. Even though. 25 Ooh. stealth. 25. She's the master of her domain. It's just a thing because I'm scared. Flavor. Thank you for acknowledging her eminence. <laughs> and it to Liz on her next saving throw. Oh my God. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> and I am going to, at that point, take my saving throw against Frightened. Uh huh. Uh, which is a what saving throw? It's wisdom. Do you have advantage or inspiration? I am going to use my inspiration to impose advantage. So. Okay. Please, please. 12. Sorry, sir. Still frightened. Very frightening. We're trying to get to her. Hey, Z ZC, uh, shout out. You do us good and you killed us. Yeah, that was so obviously I... Team Melvin. So, he, wow, Z, I know where you stand. Um, so I'm I'm down again. You are. You are, you are still down. I was like, <gasps> and I, I was like, nice nice for that. I was, I was so desperate to try to get. I forgot I was frightened. So I'm I'm sorry. That is my bad. I apologize. I start to utter that and just pass out again. It was just a dream. I had a flash of dream oh. of saving yeah, the day. And then... There's lots of uh, help coming from you in the chat. Did you roll with advantage, Scott? Yes, I rolled with advantage on the wisdom. Oh save. my. Hey, nap um, time. Oh wait, I have natural advantage against being frightened, so I can do double advantage. <laughs> That's not a thing. You know that. Oh. Wow. I was nope. like, I kept my I kept my inspiration though. Yes. Yes. That's good. Um, I actually I would have rolled. That meant uh, I would have rolled with advantage on the first thing. But let's not go too far back in time and screw everything up. I was scared. And I may let's have to let, roll I can do one more roll. I could do one. one. The eleven would have been the failure. The twelve and one more D twenty. All right, I'll, I'll allow it. One. I'll allow it. One more roll. Oh, that is a generous 17. DM. Still scared. 18. It's all good. <laughs> sorry, it works out. It's eighteen. Damn it. And I lose oh. my inspo. And I'm sorry. Not no, you don't lose your, lose your inspiration. You have natural. It's brave advantage. both times. So okay, okay. You still have inspiration. But next, Elmara. Okay, so I am also frightened, but I am going to move out of. I can't move towards her, but I'm going to move out of the poison. To like, okay. I don't know here, but I can still make a ranged attack against her, right? Yeah, you can throw some stuff. 
I, I, I would like to uh, throw, uh, throw a javelin at her. Jab it up. Um, throw some hand. No. Mm-hmm. 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 You that is just, going to be. What is my javelin? Head. Well, except I couldn't I, because I'm frightened. I had to. I can't move towards her. If I she was, was a I little still further away than I that. was more than I was here, which is more than 15 feet. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah so I still. So by I'm moving parallel, but not the same. Okay. So I'm throwing my javelin, which is uh, sorry, 14, 23 to hit. That hits. Okay, it's not going to be a ton of damage though, so um, 12 points of damage. And then I am going to throw a hand axe. Nothing. I'm going to throw a hand axe at her because <laughs> I'm just like, God damn it. Uh, yeah, that's not going to hit. Uh, 12 to hit. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Uh, and then. No, 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 so no, 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 that's. No. That's all I can do. And then you said I make a wisdom save here at the end. Yes, to, get to see if you can shake it off. Got Come this. On, you got this. Baby. Big money. No whammies. Oh. Hot dice, hot dice, hot dice. The 19 plus. That'll do two. it. Nine, as long as you're not minus two, you're good. <laughs> no, no, no. Plus two. Plus two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. So I'm no longer frightened. Okay. Um. Awesome. Cool. I'm going to take that condition off my character sheet. There we go. Do it. And then I I guess, uh, yeah, there I stand. All right. At the end of your turn, the queen is going to flutter its wings, her wings, and float up and then land in this location here. She does so without provoking attacks of opportunity, as ah. per the description of the ability. Which will bring us to Voshareth. Voshareth, you throws? are poisoned, and you feel that this poison will last, as you have been reduced to zero hit points by it, the poison effect lasts an hour. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is she so out I of commission for this fight? So I'm confused. <clears throat> Can you guys cure poison? Uh, so. Does anyone have that spell, the remove it conditions nice or whatever it is? Knowing all of you, the light of Ilyana on you all, uh, brave adventurers. <laughs> Lesser restoration or similar or yeah. something else oh. creative. I can do that. So. All right. So good. I believe lesser restoration does poisoned. So. Volshareth takes a nap. Out of this mortal coil. <laughs> you know, Volshareth, it's um, it's it's comforting for a moment. You think, man, I don't have any. I, there's nothing I can do, so I may as yeah. well relax. And yeah. then, sort of, the rumbling of the hive sort of shifts your your head walls over and you just realize you can't move and a little hell wasp grub is just kind of creeping its no. way oh, no. towards no. your face. Not okay. No. Bad touch. <laughs> but but she's not making death saving throws, right? That's correct. Right side. Paralyzed. Right side. That is correct. Yay. Um, oh, and I'm imagining too that Valshareth, her mouth is like slightly slack. <laughs> For the grub to just crawl right in. Yes. <laughs> this is Seti Alpha Phi. Oh, it's my turn. I rolled a one on my recharge. I do not get my breath back. Yeah. But I can, uh, I'm going to attack, do some do other, other bad things. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with a sting towards you, Mr. Rogue. You have a cloak of displacement, don't you? I is love that's one of my favorite magic that, items. Is there anything in there that um, changes the? Uh, is it an illusion that happens? Does a creature yes. with true sight bypass it? Um, I don't know. Let's take a quick look. Um. 
it, it's an illusion. It projects an illusion. Okay. Because of that, um, she can, let's see, illusion that makes you. It, it, literally, it projects an illusion. <laughs> All right. Let me quickly look up. Uh... True sight. Just to double check. I think it, yeah, I'm like. I'm thinking it can, I don't truly know, but. Uh, yeah, I uh, feel like it would see through it. Is this true seeing? <laughs> yeah, it's so true. a monster with true sight can see normal, see invisible creatures and objects, automatically detect visual illusions and succeed on saving throws yeah. against That's them. That's an illusion. So. <clears throat> form. Yeah, it's an illusion, yeah. Regular attack. Uh, I have a. Um... Wait, wait, wait! Don't tell me what you have. It's an attack that I can see. Uh huh. Right. Yes. I'm going to uncanny dodge it if it hits me. <laughs> do you have your? Do you, can you add anything from like a parry or anything like that too? No. Not Does that I'm aware of. Part? I've got fancy footwork, rakish audacity. Um, I did not make a melee attack, so it can't make up that, you know, uh, uncanny dodge is the halving. Evasion, which is dex, panache, which is persuasion, and talent. Okay. So no. I have a 19 to hit. How far away is the creature from me? It's right you there. You are in range to op attack it. So, okay. So I, yeah. Uh, well, no, I'm, a... I'm wondering, does my sentinel apply here? Yes. Okay. What does sentinel do? Uh, if a creature within five feet of me attacks anyone but me, I get an opportunity to attack on them. Yep. Okay. So these well, attacks it definitely happen hits simultaneously. Me. Go ahead and roll your attack. 19, does that hit you? Yes, 19 hits. All right. But for half damage. <laughs> that might be uh, good. So that's going to... I'm going to roll the... A 25 to hit for me. Super hits. Um, gee, really? And I rolled a freaking one. Uh, so that's going to be 13 points of damage. Okay. 23 points of piercing to you, Meryl. Please make a con save. That you really need to make... I'm going to use my inspiration this time for the con save. Okay. Is it poison? Yes. Okay, just to let me know. Con save. At inspiration, a little green plus mark on D&D Beyond because it's so cool. It sucks. 13. You are poisoned and paralyzed. Well, we fucked, y'all. Hey, but um, I did a solid 12 points of damage to it. Who did it? You did that. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Wait a minute. It does. It does. I I actually have I have one more thing that I can do, which I can as a reaction. Yes. When a creature that you can see hits you with an attack roll, I can use my reaction to force the creature to re-roll. I'm going to do that. Second oh, is that chance. A half? Is that a, oh, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you have to re-roll. I'm sure it's still going to hit me anyway. Go ahead. Nah, it's gonna fail. It's gonna gonna go one. What is your uh, what is your AC again? Well, you tell me what it rolled, and I'll tell you if it hit. Natural four. We're in a game 16. of chicken. Fifteen. Why is your, your AC, AC so terrible? My AC is fifteen. That's just what it is. That's what it says. I'm very sorry. Um, but it's hold on, still... wait, wait. Do you wait. have any I'm armor sorry. equipped? My AC is seventeen with armor. Okay. Did you not have that equip your armor? You did not equip it. Oh my god. <laughs> you're like, I, I, I you're seeing it. I don't a stinger know why. come from you and you're like, I'm dead. And then you're like, I should tighten this strap right here. <laughs> and then it just like bounces off. <laughs> this actually fits in with the character. I'm so embarrassed. It does. You lucky, lucky I, I bend down to fasten the armor and <laughs> it misses. Dude, you're killing me. Oh, oh that's my good. God. All right, no damage for you. So that's the start. That's the start of the multi-attack. 
Then we're gonna attack the. So I get to add that twenty-three back. Okay. And Great. you. Yeah. So you. But it's, I have, it's still an attack I can see, so I can still do uncanny dodge. Yeah, you right? would not have uncanny dodged the yeah. first one because it didn't hit you. Okay, uh, but I've got an AC of seventeen now, so keep going. <laughs> okay, that's a nice upgrade. Uh, claw, so twenty-seven. 20 some, so uh, 12, 14, 15, 21 points of slashing damage. Half? Which you can half. And Ten. to the barbarian, I have a attack of 22 for 50, 17 points of slashing damage, which you may have based on your Which rage. I may have. Yeah. You said 17? Okay. Correct. Wonderful. Oh. This poison has dissipated. Oh. That is the end of Queenie's turn. Carolus. Um. I'm gonna try it. I cast Eye Bite on myself. I need a DC 19 wisdom save. Did you say on yourself? Yeah, but then I look at the creature. Oh, I think I have okay. to cast so it on it myself. Needs... Yeah, it's self. And then I, I look at the creature. Okay. And for a DC 19 wisdom save. Um, I have a... Let's see, she will save. Oh, what, like a, a thing Potentially. Say. Yes. There goes a sixth level spell then. All right, that's it. Yeah, just stay there. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. All right, Juniper. All right, Juniper will fly over to here and will drop her wild shape, much to my chagrin. <gasps> um, and uh, I will uh, cast a lesser restoration on Bolshareth and undo the undo the poison damage. Okay, I believe Bolshareth is at zero hit points then, but still, but now no longer poisoned. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. I thought that and I, no for some reason, paralyzed. I thought that I thought that uh unless you got a healing good. word as a bonus action. Uh it's a level spell. I can't I can't yeah, I can't cast spells upon spells. Um so yeah. That's uh that's gonna be it. Okay. Um I at the end of your turn I'm going to make a wing attack. Please make dexterity saving throws. Oh both uh Helmara and um, Mero. A dex saving throw? Dex saving throw. And this is throw. something that this. I can see. Okay, Correct. thank you. Giant scissor wings. Oh, that is a is nat this... 20 plus 3. 23. Is this an attack I can see? Oh, well. It is not an attack. Well, actually, Nat 20. Wow. 29. Nice. Okay. R evasion I, I duck under the no wing. Damage. Still fastening my armor. What? What's going on? So none of neither of you take damage, which you would have bludgeoning damage, but it does get to fly without provoking an op attack and will fly in the range of the two utility casters here, who she has seen as a great threat. Holy cow, did you know the blue box RPG just said hello? Yeah. Thank you for the gifted subs, guys. Ten gifted hey. subs. Yeah. Welcome. Ten gifted yeah. subs. Woo. Hi, Blue Box. Thank you should you be well, playing, mate. but. Thank you, Blue Box. <laughs> Hello, Wasp Queen. Thanks you. All right. Boo. Mero, it's your turn. Now heal her. Do you have a ranged weapon, Carolus? Uh, a ranged weapon. Sorry, it's uh, Mero's turn. I'm I'm yeah. so sorry. I, I've got a short bow. Yeah. Okay, I was just curious. Um, uh, is everyone currently up? No, we'd need to bring Volshareth up. 
I've so she is at her. zero hit points? She's at zero. I've unpoisoned her, so healing yeah. her would be okay. effective. Right. Because I can get to her this time without moving closer. You can. It looks I'm like so she's lucky. 25 <laughs> feet from you, and you can get with to here, which is 25 feet from the... I'm flying, so I can... Right, I can get to here got, without moving any closer. Yeah, you Correct. got like 50 feet of movement, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So flying, holding onto the broom. This time I'm holding on with both both arms. Ah! Swoosh. And then I will do the two hit points action. <laughs> but you can you might roll more this time. No, no, no. I'm gonna stick with it. You guys had some two superior hit healing potions too somewhere, didn't you? Get I just two? have a regular healing potion. Okay. That'll so probably be better than the two ones. points. No, I have no, one no, in I'm, my in my bag if, if someone I'm, can get I'm it. I'm using the right. thing that I have, which is uh, Isek of the Jug bestowed it's upon cool. me the ability to do this one time only. So you... two hit points to Vosherath Nolf. And... Yeah. And then I'm going to look down and go, we should really get out of here. <laughs> and then I'm going to hide behind This her. is not going well. You feel... Uh, you, you awake, but you feel like you have a pounding hangover as well, if you Red just has never had a drop of alcohol in her life how dare you wow you, you just feel like what this other people have described is in your mind <laughs> this green ewer is in your mind and you're just like what is that why is it full of wine anyway 23 stealth got it and um then do i get a save against frightened you do at advantage at advantage Come on, baby. Unsuck. 20. There you go. Yeah. Not frightened anymore. I believe. <laughs> then I, after I'm not frightened, I then look down and go, oh, he, he really, I, I'm still scared. We should really get out of here. Hello, Mara. Tis okay. Now I'm not frightened anymore. Yay. All the things. You got this. Boom. We are recklessly attacking with the great weapon up in her face. Wait, is this Juniper over here? That's me. No, I'm over to the side. I'm I'm oh. right here. That's uh, Okay, who Carlos. is who is that? Carlos. Oh, that's oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so that is going to be a 19 to hit. Oh, uh, 19 just misses. Just that's what I thought. Okay, second attack. That's going to hit with all the... Okay, sorry, with all the things. Uh, so that's going to be 24 to hit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's going to be... Ten. Chopping time. Thir uh, 32 points of damage. <sighs> And then I'm going to pole arm mastery this mofo for nothing. Oh. God damn it. I'm, I'm not liking these dice anymore. I think it might be time to switch dice. These these dice have not... I've gotten like one attack or one hit. Kraken per... dice makes really good dice. Everyone... I know. Kraken dice I would dice agree with me... that. Yes. They did. They, they gave me dice for Dragonlance. I think I'm going to switch to those now. Use the, the, uh... Yes. Use the Kraken. I'm going to switch the Kraken, guys. Yeah. Loose in the Kraken. Dice thank, jail for these. Thank you to I'm a Dar for 300 bits. That's a D6 inspiration. Woo! Who gets it? Thank you very much. We'll see. I'll roll that in a second after I roll an attack against the Barbarian, which is being very annoying to me. Well, I mean, to be fair, I'm only hitting you with one of three attacks. <laughs> it hurts a lot, though. <laughs> it's true. Those are significant hits. Uh, I have a 22 to hit. Uh, That's going to hit. Con save. This is her only, her last legendary action of this round. Uh, this what is, is what? Oh, shit. Before. I just put all my dice away. <laughs> I hadn't got many dice out yet. Okay, now with the Kraken dice. Uh, con. Natural oh, 20. I have a lot of. <laughs> 23. All That's right, 23 no for Khan. Um, Yay. Oh, terrible. 14, 20 you, points of, uh, of piercing and... Which I am resistant to. And uh, six points of fire. Okay, so that's going to be 13. Correct. Got it. And it is now the turn of Vosharath. 
You're awake. Mess him up. Mess Two him up. points. No, no messing up. Healing, healing, healing everyone. <laughs> I'm oh yeah, no, that too. No, you're mind. not. I lesser restoration, you, honey. You we are can't good. Hear you. Yeah, you're good. Just, you're good. I can't hear you, Liz. You're really, are we here? You're really distant. I can't. I can barely hear. Beans. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Sorry, I thought that was just removing poison. So great. Um, let's see. I will pass. Mass healing word. Um, that would be nice. Yes. Ooh, ooh, wait, no, if I do a leveled spell first, I can't do another spell as my bonus action, right? What bonus action spell were you hoping to do? I was hoping to, I was hoping to cure wounds on myself and then mass healing word on everyone else because it's a bonus action. I know, levels, I know, I know, I know, I know, that's what I said. <laughs> you, but doesn't mass healing affect yourself as well? Mm -hmm. It does, but it's not as good in terms of like getting things back. So I was just trying to, you know, maximize. I mean, how could any player not know their character sheet? I'm just going to kill myself now. <laughs> um, Don't you dare, whatever. sir. <laughs> I That's your pleasure. <laughs> I was just making doubly sure. So the only thing I'll do, I guess, is, uh, well, no, that maybe. Okay. I will definitely pass Mass Healing Word. Oh my god. Uh, you yeah, have to like say it I out loud. It's eight points of healing. Oh god. That's what I'm saying. Um, and then for my action, I'm going to drink a potion of healing. There you go. Is it one of the superiors or the? It's a greater. Okay. No, yeah, I feel bad because the superiors were for everything. 44 so. plus eight, I believe. Yes. And then I'm going left to right for the D6 inspiration. I haven't forgotten okay. on my thing, so. Give me some fours. 14 for me, so. Nice enough. That's 44 plus 8, you said? 44 plus 4. 44 plus 4. But then I also get the plus 8. 44 plus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> From the first. Maths. Maths. So everyone else gets 8, I get 22 back. All right. Anything else you would like to do? <sighs> Let me see. No, I'm near to my friends now, so I don't feel like I should- you Get are. away from us in case it gets its crazy breath weapon back. What? Remember, give yourself some space so okay. it can't hit I'll all of us. As far as I can. a girl. Okay. okay. That's it. Anything else? That's all I can do. All right, it's, it's turn. Someone want to roll a d6 for me? No. I'll do it. It's a one. I just did. You didn't see it. I'll do it with my cracking dice. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Cracking dice. These ones have butterflies in them. I rolled a five. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. All right. She healeth and she taketh away. That's right. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like that. I know. Yeah, she's going to step up and then barf. Yep, I feel this coming. I can only get... So I can't get away from the barbarian. I could. I will attack, uh, provoke an attack from Juniper if she wants to take it. Uh, Do you have I a melee use weapon? A spell attack, no. Okay. Nothing of consequence. Um... Juniper's this all the way over here. What kind of opportunity to attack are you talking about? Not on my screen. She's not. Yeah, she's right here. Oh, that I have. Me? I have no one there. I yeah. Oh. I'm here. Yeah, I, I see, see her here. Oh. oh okay. That's interesting. Weird. That's fascinating. That was very strange. That's, That's where refresh. I refresh. Everybody, refresh. Roll twenty. 
I see you there. All right, so that makes an obvious choice then. Um, now she's there for me. We'll go up, and uh, so the three of you will need to make dexterity saving throws. The three of who? Three so of who? So Halmara and Mero and Juniper. I'm going to use save, my. Uh, I'm going to use my inspiration on this deck save. Okay. Uh, who got the D6 inspiration? It was Juniper. Uh, that is a twenty-one for me. Do we? Do uh, what was the what was the DC from last time? Do you, you remember? You have to declare we, before you know. I, uh, this is for right. this is for Dex. I'm not saying if it succeeded or failed. Juniper I got a nat twenty a for a twenty-nine. If I'm going to use a D6, succeeded. God damn it! I don't remember how much. Okay, twenty-three. All right, you've all succeeded. What was the DC? I can't count all these dice. Uh, is there music going? Yes, yeah. it's in rule 20. I've refreshed and yeah. stopped the music. That's so many D6s. Oh, oh. What is that? Oh so my you will take gosh. 63 damage on a fail. Thankfully, all of you succeeded. And That's okay we'll because... 31. But I don't take any of it, baby. You said 31 points of damage? Correct. Ow. Ow. All right. Important. Are you all still up? Yes. Yes. All right. I don't take any damage at all. Don't I? Good for you. <laughs> Pin a rose <laughs> on your nose. Rogue. I can't get music playing. That's perilous. It's very epic. Yeah. <laughs> it's so epic. You're missing perilous it. is that enough, so he turns into a trisanator. <laughs> Triceratops <laughs> mixed with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Are we inventing yeah. new that was a Triceratation Rex. Are you polymorphing yourself into a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Um, Is that what I have mean? you seen that before? What's that? Polymorph. Sorry. Mm -mm. I'm missing something. Yeah, I turned myself into a T Rex. <laughs> Is it a Triceratops through Rex? Polymorph. How tall are they? Very tall. Have a look. Did you just hit your head on the ceiling? Probably. I'm, I am gigantic, I believe. Was it huge? Oh. Let's have a look. Oops. I'm pretty sure it's huge. Huge, yes. Huge. Huge. <laughs> yes, look at that thing. <laughs> Eat it. Just eat it. All right. Please. Anything else on your turn, sir? Um, can't do anything else. Yeah, I can't attack yet. So that's me done then. All right. If you want to move, feel free. You can now use that token. I think I... Oops. Uh, one sec. Uh, I have given you control. I can't see it. It's gone. Should be there now. You can, it's in your journal. You should be able to drag it on. Feel free to do your movement or whatever, and it will be um, Juniper's turn. All right. She's, she's had it. She's had it with this nonsense. She's, tur she's casting a level six investiture of ice. Um, she's, what does that do? You see her, you see her scream. She emits this high pitched scream, and out of her mouth comes this blast of chilly air that covers her body and now she is Ooh. um she is uh completely made of ice and uh she is going to go up to um she's going to go up to the queen and she is going to why can't i control my character anymore oh that's because i'm over here um that's an action what are you gonna do now she's going to use uh this to cast uh um, a she's gonna blow a cone of cold onto the uh, onto the queen. Is that two actions? Isn't that part of the spell? Oh no, you can use your action. There you go. Yeah. Um, I, I need a constitution. After... Come here, outstretch hand. Is it? I think that you you turn into this form, and then on on subsequent turns, you can. Oh, really? Yeah. That's crappy. I that's how I read it. All right. All right, I take it back. <laughs> uh, that's fine. This is high-level stuff. That's fine. Oh, that's a big load of 
Poo. You, you get ready to. You start to blow her a kiss. No, in that case, I'm going to mask your wounds, everybody. Um, Ooh, nice. That's. I think that's going to be pretty necessary. I'll let everyone else do the the damages. 23 points for all my friends. Ooh, thank you. Yes, that was, that was so good. Oh, I was so ready to be Bamfy, but all right, whatever. Way Great. Better, or, or, uh, in that case, then leveled spell and... Uh, rip, 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 rip. Oh, that's the action. So F it. I'm done. Frostbite's right. not a bonus action. I'm done. Um, so T-Rex and um, over here. Helmara, please make a uh, uh, dexterity saving throw. Sounds like the name oh, of a another deck saving show. throw. Yep. Yeah, uh, she's going to use her legendary oh, that's action a wing attacks. You keep yeah, succeeding on these. The crit one or crit twenty. Thank you to Crack and Dice for my wonderful rolls the past two rounds. Uh, that's oh. going to be with the modifier as a twenty-three. Cool. As a success, nine on the T Rex. You are pushed ten feet away. I will say you are um, too large to fall down this hole. <laughs> <laughs> Probably you could be halfway in with his little arms to get out. And it will fly to here without provoking up attacks. And that's what it will do. Uh, and Marrow, it's your turn. Well, I guess I'm going to attack it. Um, I'm going to use uh, Binding Ties first. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to. Okay, the first one. Sorry, it's slow. That's fine. I, it's there's still not, an not doing the thing yet. So, yeah, it's still not doing the thing though. It should be adding to the attack. Yeah. I'm just so I'm going to, to display it uh, at 11th level, 2d8 and 3d8. Yep. So the 2d8 that it will add is a 15. Hey, that's a good All one. All right. So go ahead and make if the it attack. Hits. If it hits, yeah. Uh huh. Pick, the attack can itself. Start the music. I can hear it. Do so. Yeah, Nineteen. I hear it. Yeah, I hear Oops. it. Oh, now it's off. The music has stopped. There we go. Music, no, and there it's back. And the music is back. Nineteen to hit, Peter. Is that your final answer? That's what I can do. Nineteen is not quite enough. Then it misses. Uh. And then I'm going to get out of there. Flying on my broom of flying. Ah! And because I made a melee attack, it does not provoke opportunity attacks. Swash. Uh, Disappointment. I see in you. All right. <laughs> on to Helmara again. Oh, I hide. Okay. <laughs> uh, I am going to... At 20, 33. Wipe at it recklessly. And that is going to be. Looking for AC 20. Uh, that is AC 20. Yeah, that's exactly what I rolled. And that is going to be this. 19. I see, I distracted. Uh, that was, I, that, so that, 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 was uh, that was without great weapons, so that's because uh, I didn't say it. So that's uh, 10, 19, 22 points of damage. Yikes. Okay. Um, rolling again. Um, uh, Cause I don't want to risk missing. So that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be over 20 to hit. It's going to be another one of these. That is 20 points of damage. And then I'm gonna pole arm him for the bonus attack. Oh, oh my God. Can I get something for rolling double crits? No. <laughs> so that's a, that's a crit on the pole arm, which unfortunately is just a D4. Uh, double rolls, right? Yes. Double roll plus one modifier, correct? Correct. You got it. Are you kidding? Yay. Cool. I rolled two ones. Fantastic. <laughs> Still probably like eight damage, uh, That's right? 11, 14. Uh, it's 14 points of damage because I get to wow. use the same modifier for for the pole arm. I get to use the same uh, 
damage modifier. So yeah, yeah it's not uh, bad at all. Oh wait, because you have the plus two weapon too. So all right. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything yeah. else? Uh, that is all my stuff. Um, who who is that's Juniper? Juniper is all oh, the way sorry. to the west. Vosharath. Who, who who? That's Vosharath right here. Yes, the healer. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm just like, why are you so close to him? <laughs> it's a it's a queen um, wasp. Um, nom nom. Yeah, uh, I am gonna. Hmm. I don't want it attacking my cleric, so I'm gonna make sure I'm five feet from it. Okay, it will welcome you with open, open wings. Open wings. Use a open last mandibles. legendary action to make a um, sting attack. Oh, Have dodge a, that. Uh, 30 to hit. <laughs> Miss. Constitution saving throw, please. Okay. This is that, uh, this is that moment. Right. Uh, so that is going to be a 13 to con but I am resistant to the sting. Okay. So you will take a terrible amount um, of uh, 19 points of piercing that you resist and another, oof, um, six points of fire and you feel your body lock up into paralysis. Well, awesome. Vosharath, you see your friend, the barbarian, her body goes tight. A feeling that you remember all too keenly as she falls paralyzed. Not good. No, not, not good. Not good. Can you, <laughs> not good. But the healer's still up this time. Paralysis, you have, yeah, lesser restoration in there. Oh, I don't have it prepared. Oh no, I have to sneeze. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. So dainty. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it always comes in multiples, which is so fun. Um, beans. Uh, I don't have anything that's going to take away that um, paralyzed state. So I, I mean, am I? I'm not resistant to being paralyzed, am I? No. You're <laughs> resistant to poison damage, but uh, the poisoned condition, yeah. nonetheless, worked its way through. So, it's okay. I was putting myself in its way so it wouldn't hurt you. Oh my god! It worked. Oh my <laughs> right. God. It you worked. Are... Truly. Um. You're what you think, dying, girl? Like, what? like, don't scoff at my smoky eye. <laughs> oh my gosh! No. Okay. So, um, let me see, because I have that scroll. Can I use this scroll? Is it like a one-time thing? What is the scroll? It would be a one-time well, thing for a scroll. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, let me see if it's even going to be useful. Beans! No, it definitely is not going to be useful. Um, okay, it's a scroll of aid. Not useful. Uh, yikes. Okay, so my next best um, course of action is to attack this friggin' stupid. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and I'm gonna try a different tack this time and I will cast the cantrip. Um, sacred, no, 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 word of No, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. Uh, word of Radiance. And so, um, Vosharek will extend a hand She's, she's really scared to do it, but she's gonna extend a hand. Well, it's like a five feet, Never mind. She doesn't have to, thank God. But she'll extend a hand 
within five feet, but she's not touching. So she says, uh, burp, 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 burp. She goes, burp, 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 burp. And that is the word of radiance, though, she says. <laughs> to Iliana. And uh, the word of radiance hopefully will do some damage. I have a 13 to save. Oh my gosh, Ooh, that's got to fail. Oh my gosh. Like no more legendary resistance. That's so much damage, too. Great. All right. Did it roll? No, beans! Nine. Hey, that's damage. It's damage. She takes all and of it. It's radiant. Radiant damage, right? It's yeah, it totally vulnerable damage. to that. So it's yeah. triple, right? Triple? I'm kidding. I was like, that can't be true. Bosharef, <laughs> anything else on your turn? Uh, yeah. I'd like to cast um, the, the mass healing word again because it's the best I can do. We'll oh, take two actions. Such a dweeb. No. Is this no, word no. of radiance? Mass healing word is a is a bonus action. Bonus action. Awesome. Yeah, and that the first thing do is it. healing word is a cantrip. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. And that is I mean I don't need it. I'm totally at full. I, I could, we could all use I, I am not use healings. Yeah, yeah, we gotta keep our barbarian up hey Guys, why are you so hurt? What's wrong with you? Don't get hit Seriously? Seriously? I'm taking all the damage <laughs> Oh, oh double five for everybody. I'll take it five. This is why I hire retainers, guys I'm so glad you're here Five hit points And as it comes to Queen Wasp's turn She rolls a Big old four on the die does not get any breath back. Do have a paralyzed target, however. That has hurt me quite a bit. So but she's intelligent. She recognizes there's way more threats all around her. You know, uh, there was even yeah. a word of radiance that just scarred her there, from, a, from an true. active threat. Yeah, she has so we, four other people kill her. around her. We might sting the we might sting the cleric. No, no, that. you shouldn't do that. That. <laughs> I have a twenty-two to hit the cleric with the sting. Please make a con save. You assume please, that hits. please. Uh, I have a please. fifty AC, so <laughs> fifty. <huh? laughs> yeah, I'm like super strong. And Peter's wow. like, "What do you know? I rolled a fifty-one." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you have any more uses of your reaction? Um, Might not matter, but. Oh, I do. Yes. All right. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. Warning, Claire. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Get out of here. Rolled a natural four. Again. Four is your lucky number. Yeah. 16 total to hit. Oh, no, that misses. All right, cool. Let's do the rest of these attacks. Get out of here. Coming towards you, because that was annoying. 25 oh, and 27 to hit. Yeah, those both miss. Aha. Okay. Some big claws. So 46 twice. I've got 13 and... 10, 14, plus. Uh, 36 points of damage total between the two. That's wonderful. Thank you. Are you, you still, still up? up? <laughs> yeah, I'm still up. Atta girl. You're welcome <laughs> for your mass cure awesome, wounds. Yes. Mr. T Rex. So you saved it. I know. Please crush please this thing. Please tear this thing apart. I could probably do more damage as a warlock. Um, yeah, I charge it. I don't think charging does anything. At least move, can it at least move it back so it's not sitting over me and the cleric? No. <laughs> yeah, just just soak some HP damage. Uh, I, can't, good. I can't grapple it, so that's a miss. Ah. No, but can you like, can, you can't shove it? You don't have the shove action? Just, no. just shove it out of the way. It has little tiny arms. It can't shove. Yeah, it can headbutt it. It can well, headbutt it. There you it. go. That's a that's a good attack. Twenty five. Right. That hits what a absolutely. Nice strong neck. Uh, Nineteen damage. 
Boom. I mean, in Jurassic Park, he knocks the, the Jeep over with his head. You know, so he's like, true. who's true? Is this thing almost dead, Peter? She is, is it looking she's looking pretty close to dead. Yeah. All right. <laughs> is a giant shoe. Like, okay. That would be a good right? <laughs> Or that, that wasp spray, you know? Yes. Can, it, can, can Juniper Encino, can she heal things? Can she lesser restoration things? Can she, she can, things? but we need to just take this out. I, she's going to, she's going to try to, uh, she's going to try to frostbite it. Um, How about webs? What does that cloak uh, do? I, I don't think the <laughs> web is going to do too oh, much okay. to help. I mean, it's a bug. Um, they get caught in webs. Natural vulnerability, right? Constitution save, Peter, please. I have a natural 15. I'm going that to be is above. It's going to... Uh, oh, you're going to be above 17? Yes. All right. Um, 20, uh, 24. Okay. Well, God damage. Okay. Uh, who is hurting? Who is hurting? I mean, I'm paralyzed and you're paralyzed. Invaded. Yeah, but we need. And but she's who's... also. Oh, okay. Vosharath is probably close to death. All again. right, then I'll do a, a level four healing word to Vosharath um, for my bonus action. That's sixteen That's a good points. One. Sixteen Thanks, points Peter, for you. Good spot. Thank you. And that's the end of my turn. Please kill to, it. To to who was that to? To Vulture. All right, Mero, you're up. Okay. Uh, Mero goes. That's it. I'm getting out of here. And using the flying broom, flies directly <laughs> over to the giant wasp queen. Exits the wasp and stabs, yes. uh, dragging his sword behind him as he's trying to exit the room. I'm um, going to do the uh, Isex Binding Ties, Let, which does not level, so I'll just do the display it, and then if it hits, I'll roll those after. And then I'm going to go for a strike. Oh my god, rolling a two. How would you come so out being total. hidden, though? I was stealthed, so coming be from advantage, behind. Then. That'd be advantage, then. It would be advantage. Okay, I'll try again. Rolling a 19, which still misses, I believe. Just short. Damn it. I, do you had to say I'm short? Yeah, you had to say I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a halfling joke? What? So rude. Found, uh, wait, oh. Roll with disadvantage. And then I'm going to uh, drop onto the queen. Letting go of the broom of flag. Yo, know, you're on top, riding on top of the. Yes, I am us. dropping onto the back of her. Okay. Now you have to tell me what I how that works. If Make if I can acrobatic grab acrobatics, acrobatics, acrobatics you say. One. Really? How's a nat twenty for a thirty three? All right. Yeah. You're balancing there for now. <laughs> Sticker in the eye. Oh, oh God! And then I'm gonna and hide, you can hide on I her hide back. <laughs> You're not seeing travel to the center of the earth. It's Could going. I hide from her on her? Definitely not. She so. well, she's wearing armor, right? She might not even feel you. You're tiny. Yeah, I'm small. Um, I think so you guys are have noticed enough now the uncanny sense. She has a a range of blind sight, so uh, I will be interested to see how she, she can attack me there. while I'm on her back, pestering her though. Um. Certainly, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Actually, I just Noted. fell off the broom, guys. It was really clumsy. I just tumbled and trying to attack her. I just ah, fell off the broom. It goes flying across the room, and I find myself seated upon her head accidentally. Halmera, you may make a constitution saving throw at the end of your turn that you spend being paralyzed. Cool. Cool. So I'm paralyzed, and now I will roll. Oh, dirty 20. Thank God my con is high. Did you, I max yeah. it? Yeah. You are no longer paralyzed. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I have a plus eight to con save. So <laughs> thank, thank goodness for that. Okay. Word. 
Oh, okay. Well, we uh, we just got some raiders. Hello, raiders. Hello, raiders. Woot, woot. Wiley Hobbit, how you doing? Thank you very much for the raid. Wiley Hobbit, we were going to raid you. <laughs> oh. Whatever shall we do? What Win. Thank you very much. Do? Enter the giveaway, Enter the giveaway guys. friends. Enter the giveaway. Like, there's, there's tons of cool... Giveaway. There's tons of cool communities out there. There's Wiley Hobbit, there's Ink and Liar, there's Initiative Order, there's all sorts of cool people out there in the world. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will give you guys a cast. Uh, if it works, it usually does so well. So I'm going to try Toll the Dead. Okay. It's the dead. Uh, let's see. What did you roll, though, before I roll? Wisdom. Okay. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Uh, I have a 14. Ha 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 ha! Sorry. <laughs> I get to roll. <laughs> so I cast it, and yes, you are missing hit points. Come on, big numbers. 22 points of damage. Please yeah. don't. So close. Oh, so very close. Geez. Uh, okay, um, yeah, then I don't have anything else I can do. Okay. I don't have legendary actions left, I do. Did, however, roll a five. Oh, shit. This'll be interesting. T-Rex. I will back to here. I'll get a tech of opportunity. Uh, yes. She she doesn't want to take an action make to try to dislodge her save, traveler? Uh, uh, at, during the movement there, um, Meryl. Or oh. a, not a deck save, excuse me. Oh, damn it. That was so close to being a 17. What, what, acrobatics? Yes. Thirty. <laughs> okay. You can stay on. And then she spends her whole action trying to dislodge me, right? Uh, no. She will breathe fire in the cone. So these three here, please make a dexterity saving throw. Nine. Sorry, which which three? Oh, us Actually, again. Actually, it will be based on the movement. Uh, let's see. Uh, sorry, I got to check some things super quick. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, Thanks for all the people that have joined us on twitch.tv slash lawful stupid RPG. If you have not entered the giveaway, please do. If you try to enter the giveaway and you're not able to, just watch a few minutes and then you'll earn some gold and you'll be able to join. Or follow. Follow Indeed. gives you 10 gold. You can follow and instantly get enough gold. Yeah, feel free to give us some healing potions, some inspiration. <laughs> You're no longer... Um, Hom Homera, would you like to make an opportunity attack? Yes, she would. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I really prevent would. her from getting everyone in range for this breath attack. <laughs> I would love her. that. Please oh, my God. Her. Come on, dice. Come on. Okay. 17 on the dice plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's going to hit. So that's going to be this. Uh, oh, my rage fell when I was paralyzed, right? Spending a turn paralyzed, yes. Yeah, yeah, so. That's 15 points of damage. Please tell me. You got it. <laughs> Nearly single digits near death, I will say. <sighs> it doesn't move. Truly just... What about that butt? <laughs> so now deck saves from T-Rex and Helmera. Fortunately, Vosharath will not be able to be in the uh, cone of effect because of it doesn't move. Homera's. Uh, that is a 22 for me. Okay. And T-Rex. Oh, nine for me. I rolled ages ago. All right. Excuse me. I did not hear. Oh, uh, since I hit it on that uh, op attack, Thank you so much. Uh, it's movement is zero now, right? Yep. Or is so that's it why it stopped that? right. That's why it stopped right there. Right. So it couldn't awesome. readjust further to include your ally because it stopped. Ruby, thank you. 
Okay. 41 points on a fail? 20 damage then. Palmera, you take 20 points. Thank I take you. 20 as well. Ow. Ow. Are you still up? It's fire, isn't I'm it? I'm still up. Just hurts. Okay. It's fire, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It is fire, yeah. I'm resistant. Cool. Uh, and it is your turn, Mr. T Rex. Oh, is it? Can you do this? Yes, come on. 116 chomp, hit points chomp, chomp. left. Yes! Move there. Chop, chop, chop. Make a roaring noise, come on. Roar for 45 damage. <gasps> 45 damage. Oh my god. Oh Alright, Mr. T-Rex. The scene is yours. <laughs> As your allies are all lying, bloodied, nearly paralyzed, just heaving from the poison. Oh god, he swallowed and me. From the poison. Uh, <laughs> he just grabs it by the legs and starts like shaking it like a dog does. Rips all of its legs off. Meryl goes flying against the wall. I, yeah, I was just going to say, make a deck save. <laughs> the sticks into it and slowly <laughs> falls down the side. And as it's a wasp, I'll keep stamping on it until I know it's dead. All right. Make sure you don't it get is... that icker on you, dude. Doesn't matter. Most certainly dead. <laughs> and uh, suddenly Ooh. there is quiet in here, or relative quiet. <sighs> and... I sit down and start panting like a dog. <laughs> no, not really. I'll turn back and to you Carolus. Can just, <clears throat> and you can just hear the sound of the beating heart coming from the celestial body in the corner. Juniper being close to it will uh, move towards the body and uh, begin to carve the body out of the um, out of the wall doing what she did before, pouring the water, freezing it, and then ripping it uh, out of the, ripping the wall apart. Okay, uh, go ahead, make, please make a caster level check. Oh, geez, so just your, a d20 plus your, um, no, just plus your ability modifier for, so plus wisdom. Oh, okay. I'll just roll a d20. Uh, 17. Okay. The, Sorry, 19. The area around this torso... Oh, 19. Okay. 19. Um, it cost, it cost uh, it. Is it, You said the wisdom bonus, right? It's plus five. Oh. Yeah. Very good. So you see that this body starts to kind of begin to explode, but because of the level of the casting, you interpose another level of freezing ice and um, you see shards of bone and stuff just impact that and then fall harmlessly at your feet and you take no damage as this, the um, sort of uh, the, the gaseous decay and the larva and stuff do not harm you at all. And sitting there framed in a rib cage, um, just sitting there as a heart, undecayed, just red, beating by itself. Are you of good alignment? Oh yeah, she's super good. You feel a comfortable, comforting warmth coming from it, almost inviting. Um, I will very gently uh cradle it in my hands and remove it from the body. Okay. It feels good. All of you feel comforted as this, the sort of frantic beating, the pounding in your head that you heard before now turns to sort of a gentle thrum. The, um, you might associate it with the, um, comforting pat of a parent or the or war drums that thrummed through the ground um, when you were going to sleep before a day of a battle or even the sound of a city that kind of lulled you to sleep there's something about the beating of this heart that aligns itself with the rhythm of your own soul and makes you feel somewhat at peace for the time you have recovered the heart of Raskamedes and will be able to return it to Dara and see what happens now. But 
for that and for the final leg of the journey of the chosen of the strife of the chosen we will have to wait till next week it's a very very difficult uh hell wasp encounter so well done players expertly played all of you well done um on completing this so yay good job we will you will be able to get back to the emporium no problem I, and you will be I, given I, I a believe... long rest over which you can level up your characters oh, again. Oh, oh, oh. i believe oh. that calls for fanfare cold pepper hot salt awesome 